Hi everyone, I have to dub this video because I screwed up the live stream and nothing I said was recorded. So I played the entire live stream with no one hearing anything I said. Luckily, nobody ever watches my live streams. So this is probably going to be a very boring video, but for the sake of continuing my playlist the natural way in numerical order, I'm just going to have to suck it up and, you know, deal with it. Day 25, month 1, year 1. So for anybody that cares to notice, I actually did this live stream about 4 months ago. And I'm only now editing the video and, you know, doing a voiceover. The reason is because I got a new job, and the hours have been all over the place. I have not been able to sit down on my computer this entire time. I've barely even opened my laptop to do just normal, regular, you know, non-YouTube live streaming Twitch stuff. So, this is the first time I've been able to come back and do this. So, I'm not even able to, like, play any games or do any new videos. Because I'm spending my time, you know... Editing this. So needless to say, I have no clue what's in this video. I completely forgot because it's been four months and my memory is garbage. As I'm sure you've probably seen in other videos, I forget stuff all the time over a matter of minutes. So I don't even know what I'm building right now I don't, as I'm watching this. So... Yeah, I'm watching the video as I do the voiceover, so that's the type of perspective I have. And I did not realize that my face covers so much stuff. Although I probably should have noticed that. So what am I making? I think I'm making the removable battery, right? I don't even know. Or was it the blender? See, I can't. I, I wish I knew what I was saying right now. Oh, the water tank. Alright, so, the, yeah, I could have just looked to the side. I'm making a water... Oh, no, I'm making a blender. Oh, the water tank. Okay, I'm seeing that on the right-hand side. The water tank is a task I have to do. But right now, I'm building the uh, blender. If I remember correctly... Yeah, see, I'm switching out to, to making the water tank. So, I, yeah, I vaguely remember... Jumping the gun, I'm making the blender. So we're making a water tank. I believe that is for Emily's grandmother, whose name is Sophie. So I already forgot. This isn't even my first playthrough. I this is just the first one, the one I'm doing for videos, and I already, I, I even then I forget the names of these people. I remembered Emily's name though. Okay. Let's see what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm building something. Yeah, I realize I just said I'm building something when uh, it's obvious I'm building something. So I'm just mumbling at this point. The fuck was that sound? Oh, that was my phone charging, but you probably didn't hear it. Okay, so I think I just made five stone bricks and now I'm moving back. Okay, I'm pro okay, it looks like I guess I'm assuming I'm looking for stone bricks to see if I have any more. I don't know. I'm assuming. Yeah, I didn't have them, but I have no clue what I was doing right there. Okay, okay, okay. This is what I sound like all the time while I'm thinking anyway. I'm like, mm, okay, okay, okay. So, at least that's authentic. Okay. <laughs> I did it again. You're my little footsteps. Yeah, I wish I could remember where I was going. And you know what really sucks is that I was- I actually have- I- Yeah, I did the- a, uh, uh, live stream for the next episode after this current one that you're watching now. Cause this was, um, this is part six, I believe, and- one second. Surveying this cave. The man wants me to set up a haunted cave here. If you're going in, stock up on health items, since it's still dangerous inside. 
And I don't know why it took me that long to push X and continue. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, this is currently, uh, episode 6. And I've actually already recorded episode 7 as another live stream. So I did both, like, back-to-back, I think, before realizing that this episode, you can't hear me. So, yeah, I don't even remember. I guess, no, I guess this is the first time I've been in this cave. Not really, I mean, I've played this before, but for the sake of this, let's play. Just beat the shit out of everything. It is one- it is, like, a part of the game that I like. Not, like, beating everything up. I like that it's not just a building game. Like I said, in a lot of ways, it's kind of like a 3D Stardew Valley. Where, uh, you, like, you can imagine, like, this is kind of like when you go into the, uh... Gee, wow, it's been a while since I played Stardew Valley where they called caves or dungeons. Mines? I think it was mines, right? So, I I anyway, like, I think this is like that. As you can see, I'm intentionally ignoring the big thing, because I want to make sure I collect everything first. I think I remember actually saying that, too, in the, uh... What I'm originally saying right now is probably about that. It's probably about the fact that I'm intentionally ignoring it, this thing. Now I'm finding it. Beat the shit out of me. Yep, kicking my ass. Yeah, that- oh, I don't know what I was doing there. But yeah, so that's an a level 11. I don't- I can't see where my level is. I probably should make my screen bigger. Yep, beat the shit out of me. Hold on. Okay, so yeah, so you- I think you get three tries. So, like, yeah, I-, I I was knocked out, but then I was able to come back a second time to continue beating him up at whatever percentage of health he had left. So, I like that. That's cool. Banderat. And then... Now it's time to just explore, make sure I got all the items I needed to get. Again, because I, it's been four months since I last played this game, and even then, I've done two episodes that I haven't, you know, like this one and the next one. I can't remember where we are here, so I don't want to say anything, and then it's, um, you know, like, a spoiler or anything like that. So I don't know what I'm, I can't remember exactly what I'm doing here. I guess, okay, so I'm looking over at the, uh, on the right at the tasks. The cave on Amber Island. Go to the cave and repair. And then the debt collectors. Wait until the weekend. Okay, so we saw those brothers, those scam artists. And we just gotta wait that out. So, I remember doing it, but again, like I said, I didn't remember at this point what stage we were at with that story. I wish I knew what I was talking about. Like, I'm clearly talking about something, and like, you can cook this something here. And I think I made... Oh, okay, so I did something, I made, and I made taste, tasteless broth. I used a meat to make it, so I wasted that, because it's not going to do anything. But as you can see, I think my health and stamina got better. So if I had better ingredients, that would have been a better situation there. I would have made a better recipe. I can't wait to get a better sword or a weapon. I know that I get a better one. So, 
can't wait till it actually happens in the Let's Play. I don't know when I'm going to be able to actually play this game or any of my games again. There's so many other games I was doing. But like I said, this new job, I just got to focus on that right now. Eventually, my hours will normalize. And then I'll be able to have a more routine. It may take a while. It may take till the end of the year. Right now, it is June. So who knows, it may take several more months. I don't know why I screen what, what I'm doing right there. Why I, I just zoomed in on the wall. I was doing something. But anyway, what I was saying, um, I don't know how long it's going to be. It's going to be a while. I'm going to try here and there to do stuff. Like I said, like today I couldn't play a game because I have to edit this. Like this really put me back a bit. Especially since I'm not the best talker, so I'm just sort of rambling. And there we go. I repaired that. Now I'm turning on the generator. Okay, time to fight them. Well, I am fighting them. Yeah, they were easy. So now the new task is to explore the cave. I keep moving close and then far away from my mic too much. That's why my voice goes from being like l softer to being loud. But you know, it wouldn't be one of my videos unless something was wrong with the audio, right? So a lot of the stuff that they're dropping is just like loot to just sell, but some of, well, a lot of it, most of it, is actually the craftable stuff. Which, I'm assuming you already knew that. Oh, my inventory's full. That sucks. So now I gotta drop something, and I don't remember what I dropped, so I guess this is gonna be a surprise for me. Probably the mucus. I, yeah, because that's, it is a craftable thing, but I don't think I need it. I, I clearly. <laughs> so there we go. That went bye-bye. And let's see what else we're getting rid of. Yeah, okay, yeah, I figures I get rid of the red mushroom. I can get that at a later time. I don't remember if there was anything else I got rid of. I can't remember anything about this. I'm probably going to say that so much it's going to drive you guys crazy. Okay, so <laughs> I opened, yeah, so you're able to do that. You're able to actually buy more inventory slots. So. That's obviously the easiest thing to do in this situation. If you have the money. The goals. I feel like Link when I break the pots. Oh, I took a break. Most likely this was just for my, uh, my dog. Yeah, I only edited out 20 seconds, so most likely that was just my dog wanting to either go in or out of the room and me, you know, taking care of that. Unfortunately, you know, my door has to be shut because of all the noise going on in the back, you know, out in the rest of my house. Oh, there's my cat in the uh, corner up there. I think it was Leo. Hi, Leo. Anyway, so yeah, so I, my door has to be shut, but my animals hate the door shut. So my dog's always scratching. So, but obviously the scratching and the video, you can hear that too in the video. So it's a distraction. It's annoying. And I think I talked about this before anyway. But I need to say something in this video. So I might as well just keep talking about whatever comes to mind. And that was it. So... It gets a little annoying here and there, especially during live streams, if, like, because it only takes a few minutes, and then my dog wants to, again, scratch on the door, and whether she was in or out of my room, wants to do the same thing again. 
So it does get a little annoying, but right now that's just the best thing for me because I can't have my door open and then the rest of my household you hear all that noise or it just it, you don't want you don't want to be a part of that so it's just it's just what I gotta do as a pet parent So yeah, so, speaking of pets, because again, I have to start saying something here. Speaking of pets, I'm sure I said this already though, but I have a dog, a Yorkie. Her name is Winnie. And I have four cats. Yeah, that's right. I have four cats. I have a boy, MJ. Another boy, Leo, who you see, kind of, sort of see in, in the behind me right there. You've seen both of them in my videos along with Winnie at some point. Well, I don't know if you've ever seen Winnie. I don't know who you've seen. I know you've seen Leo. So, um, uh, and then I got two other cats. A girl, Emmy, and a boy, Moshi. They're, uh, they're litter mates. I call them twins. Even though Emmy looks like Leo because they're both black cats. Moshi is not a black cat. So I call them twins even though they're really not. They don't look alike. You would think Leo and Emmy were because they're both black cats, but they're not related. So yeah, that's my, uh, my pet family. And three of them I actually adopted all at once. Leo, Emmy, and Moshi. I adopted all three of them in the same place on the same day. So, I don't want, uh... I don't want to get too into that story right now because I don't know at what point a cutscene's going to come up. And I don't want to be into the story and then have to stop for the sake of the cutscene or forget that what I'm doing and then just keep talking and it screws up the cutscene. Yeah. I think, yeah, I'm going through the whole map and, um, going after all the enemies. Like, if there were different paths that meet up, I just make sure I c cover all the ground. And now I stopped to say something. I don't know. Here we go. This is, uh, oh yeah, this is the, uh, last section of this, uh, cave. Or, yeah, this cave. It's called the cave. Now I'm picking up shrooms. And I got a caterpillar. Yeah, so there you go. See, I'm, I'm going backwards to make sure I cover it all ground. Which is very important. That's the type of gamer I am. Like, if there's a path, I just want to make sure I go everywhere to make sure I collect all the items. Not to mention, just like beating the crap out of all these enemies. Excuse me, I burped. I don't know if you heard it. If you did, my apologies. So yeah, I, I don't know if this... Sorry, Ma that's Martha's pot. I don't know if that's the first item I picked up in this. And maybe I was talking and it happened before. But maybe this is the first, but I'll bring it up now. Is This is the cave yeah, where you find the things. Power stone. In the previous episode where they talked about stuff getting stolen from them. This is where we're finding those items. If I remember correctly, I have to come, I have to like backtrack and find the rest. I don't remember at this stage how many, because like, even though I'm watching this video, oh, I was so busy talking, I didn't realize, I um, pay attention to what I was picking up. 
And, um, yeah, I kept thinking that was something to pick up. That's just there. That lantern. So I think that's what I'm doing right now, and I'm probably even c explaining all of this right now. Um, in what I'm originally saying. But, I want to make sure I pick up everybody's lost item. So, is that what I'm doing right now? I think that's, I think I'm backtracking, or I was. Maybe not, it looks like I'm heading back to the, uh, last section. Oh no. Wait. I know I sound stupid, guys, I can't help it. No, I'm going backwards, it looks like, wait. Yeah, see, because, uh, even though I'm looking at this, I'm focusing more on what I'm talking about than what I'm looking at. Now, see, yeah, this is the last section. So this thing is like a warp thing. You'll see. Or not. <laughs> I think based on my facial expression, <laughs> I was that's exactly what happened. I was trying to show you what that was and I just dropped right right down. So Yeah, uh, I, I Okay, I don't- I can't explain what I just did there. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? I, I, yeah, the, it's almost like the video is frozen, but it's not, so... I, I'm talking about something. And now you can see Leo again a little better. Okay, check. The door is locked. We need- yeah. Pretty much, yeah. I I can't explain the stupidity of everything you just saw right there. But here is another cutscene. Yeah, that seems really weird for him to say that, considering we've already picked up other stolen items along the way, like Marcus Pot. I don't- Oh, okay, yeah, I beat those little guys up. Now I'm going after the big guy. And, yeah, my health sucks right now, so... Again, I didn't mean to do this. I meant to do that other thing that I was showing you, the warp thing, and then I just dropped down. That's the thing that um you step on it and then you go out back out of the cave. Then you can come back at a later time. I'm eating all the meat so that my health goes up. Yeah, so it just seems weird because even though he has most of the stolen item or, or some of the stolen stolen items here, you still did pick up other stuff. So that he's the fact that my character just said that in a shocking way, like the stolen items, like duh, you, you you found some already, so it's obvious this is what was going on. Uh oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Got it. Defeat. I have to go tell the mayor. Not until I pick everything up. Yeah, I try too much, like. I'm trying to, like, break things open to see- or see if there are breakable things to open up. And when they're not, I still just keep trying. Like, like, yeah, I can't pick those up, but I'm just trying anyway. <laughs> I gotta press this big-ass sofa in my pocket. Well, not really. It's now in a bag on the ground, because I have no more space. So, let's see what I can drop now. I might have actually bought another row. Of inventory. Don't remember. Or I just dropped the shrooms. Yep, okay. Small engine and data disks. Is that everything? Hmm. Time to just pull another link and just start breaking pots and getting money. Yeah, I think someone should make a, uh, 
t-shirt. Maybe they already did it, or it's just, uh... Break pots, get money. <laughs> break jugs, get money. Anything like that. And then, obviously, it would mainly be Link, but it could probably be many other characters throughout the gaming industry, because it probably happens, you know, often. I'm rambling, and Leo is cleaning himself in the background, and... I'm oblivious to it, because I'm, yeah, focused on something. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here. And, sorry, this is very boring. You're just watching the screen, me doing absolutely nothing. Also, like, I probably assumed that I would edit some of this out while I played the game. Like, even though it was a live stream. For the actual YouTube videos, I would typically edit stuff out to make the video shorter. So I probably that was probably something that I was assuming I would edit out. And of course, everything went haywire finding out that I had, you know, no voice. And then it being four months later with the new job and everything. I'll probably talk about that. Maybe I'll talk about that later in this video, or maybe I'll talk about it at a later time. I don't want to get too into my personal life right now with this. So, uh, okay, let me read the bottom. The annual Porsche Land Run Race takes place on the 12th and 13th days of autumn. You must register to participate. Here we go. What are you doing in there? I was fixing the K's power generator and... The cave complex extended all the way to here? And you defeated all of them? Wow. So the bandy rats were behind the thefts. I knew it. They've been crowding around our town for a while now. We were following some leads that brought us here. Just about to go inside as well. You take a break. Go tell our mayor what happened. We'll head on in and clear out any stragglers. Alright, yeah. I don't remember correctly. I guess I'll find out in a second. I think I go back in there to make sure I get everything? Or did I get everything? I guess I'm heading back out. Yep, there, there we go. I know I've talked about this before, but I just love this little town. This little, you know... Yeah, I, island, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I love, uh... The way this game, the art style of this game. My cooking pot. Why would they want this? Thank you very much. Here, have some fresh bread I just baked. Got bread. There's Pinky, one of my favorites. All the animals are my favorites. So. I don't remember who else gets- I know Remington gets boots. So, and I- I guess- Maybe that's why, like, when I went to go follow them, maybe that's what I was trying to do, going to Remington to give him his boots. If, assuming I picked them up. But now here's time to talk to the mayor. I don't know why I'm not saying anything in between these things. There we go. So that's what happened. I should have asked the civil corps to check out the cave first. But what do you know? You fixed two problems at once. Congratulations! Here's your commission money. And here's some extra for helping to solve the mystery of the town thief. Okay, I think I, I might have talked about this in the past. I'm not sure. But that dude sounds a heck of a lot like Mel Brooks. I don't think- uh, I'm not saying that is him. I don't think that that is. I'm actually, like, gonna Google it and see who's doing the voice for that. But, uh, he sounds a lot like Mel Brooks. Who is one of- who is one of my favorites, by the way. Favorite, uh... I get definitely a favorite, my, my favorite directors, filmmakers, but I guess you could also call him a comedian, because... He's a comedic genius, as far as I'm concerned. 
not like he doesn't do like stand up comedy, but he's still funny as hell, so I still call him a comedian. But he's mainly known as a director and actor because he acts in his movies. I'm saying this like he doesn't like people wouldn't know who he is. I guess younger generations possibly don't know who Mel Brooks is, but yeah. If you happen to not know who he is, definitely check him out. And if you know who he is, I'm sure you can appreciate my being a fan of his. What am I doing? I'm, see, I'm actually looking down in Google right now for the uh, voice actors for this, so I'm not paying attention to what the hell I'm doing in the game. Ah, oh, my sofa! I've given up on ever finding it! How did the rats get this into their cave? Thank you so much! Okay, so I'm pulling up the cast on this, on, um... Uh... Hello. Okay, wait. Mutant rats, blah, blah. Okay, I'm just reading what he was saying now. So I'm on IMDB, and I'm gonna see... ...who I can see the voice actors for. Like, who played who. Not a single person here looks familiar. I'm looking for the mayor. Taking me a long time to find the mayor. Oh, wow, I just happened to look back up at my uh, computer, and I'm already back at my house in this. So, got my stone bricks. I'm making the water tank, right? I think so, but I don't think that's what the stone bricks were for. I don't remember. Okay, yeah, if this is correct, because it says the character is Gale, not male, Mayor, not Mayor Gale. But the character is Gale, and it looks like somebody named Bruce Mohat voiced him. Oh, and I'm taking another break, apparently. Yeah, and that was like a four-minute break, so that was probably like a pee break or something, not simply me letting my dog in or out of my room. But yeah, so on IMDb, it says, it just says Gale. It doesn't say Mayor Gale. And it says Bruce Mohai. So clearly not Mel Brooks. But definitely every time I hear that voice, it sounds so much like Mel Brooks to me. So uh, that's that. So what am I. Do oh, yeah. Okay. So no, I think that's what I'm doing right now. My, my task at hand for me, at least, maybe not on the game, um, on the side of where my tasks are. But for me, at least, I think what I'm doing is... Oh, no, I thought what I was going to do was deliver the stuff to everybody. That they lost. Like, the stolen items. But I clearly had other plans. Yeah, I have no clue what the hell... I'm, I'm clearly putting stuff away right now to make space. But the, the honest... Uh, good answer for this would be to open up another row of inventory which I think between this episode and the next one I think I do okay yeah that wait, took way too long I edited it out almost three minutes of that so I'm all sorted out and I've organized everything I have all I have all like a lot more space almost that entire backup space I have I did not open up another row of inventory though but yeah, I'm good. And now, yeah, I, I wish I knew why I was stopping. Clearly I'm taking care of something like, whether it's audio related or some technical thing or looking something. I, I don't think I'm looking anything up because I knew I had to, I, I've beaten this part of the game before, so I don't need to look anything up here, so. Or maybe I was just checking my phone for text messages or something. Who knows? Rambling again, but I can't help it. I really kicked myself in the head, or, you know, metaphorically speaking, obviously, but I did. I definitely was so, I was kicking myself because of my lamp. All right, one so second. dirty it is. Don't want it anymore. Okay, he's, you can keep it. I think I'm saying that right now, but yeah, um, basically, 
He's letting me keep it. I don't know why sometimes the voices work. Sometimes, sometimes they don't. It's really frustrating. But yeah, um, I'm trying to remember what I was just saying. Oh yeah, so I was kicking myself for the audio being screwed up again because now I have to fill all the space in with my voice and I don't know what to say, so I'm rambling. I don't remember if you've seen this part yet, but anyway, you can um, upgrade the house. And you can upgrade all these little things. Everything that came with it, yeah, so I can, I can move that there since I, you know, have more land. Which I think I did accidentally, right? I accidentally, I mashed the button too much when I was trying to read that sign. And I ended up buying the land more before I wanted to. And I ended up having to, you know, push back with other things I was trying to do. Because I needed to earn the goals back again. But anyway, so yeah, so um, spreading out a little bit right now in my land. So some of the stuff you can actually move, you have to move here. You can't just move on your own. Like, the stuff that was there from the very beginning. The house. The workshop. That big workshop area. And the, uh, the table. Assembly station and work table. And you can also buy chicken coop, shed, stable. We'll get into that. It's a... Definitely a priority for me. But I also need to, like, focus on the pace of this game and the let's play. So, we'll get there. We'll get there when we get there. But I'll make sure we get there. And again, I'm saying all this now, assuming I haven't already talked about it. So I can't remember. I'm s I am think because I'm still on this part of the, the screen and I'm talking a lot, that's probably what I'm doing. I'm explaining. You can even upgrade the fence and the gate so it doesn't have to look like that. You can have, um, like, stone and marble. Really make, you know, really upgrade. Really make the every this whole area look nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure right here I don't do a lot. I think I just move this stuff out and... Because I have to collect a lot of resources. That's what the marble looks like. No, the stone. The stone. That's what the marble looks like. So we will uh, also get to that at some point. I don't think I've gotten to it yet. Even in the next episode. Because you got to collect a lot of resources. The stone's easy to collect though. Just get stone. Like up the wazoo. When you go into the... Uh, uh, you know, where you... Oh, I forgot the name of it already. I don't... Is That's not called... The Mines, is it? The Ruins, the Ruins. That's what it's called. Wow, I'm like... My brain is just shot. QQ! I say QQ. I don't know what, how you're supposed to pronounce that. So yeah, back to like... What I was saying about Gus and his... Gust. Because of his voice and all that. Not even just about him, but about everybody. It's very inconsistent. I don't like it. Where some Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys know about this. You can buy stuff here. So you can buy some resources here to upgrade, but you can also just buy other items for your house. Again, it depends on the market. So you obviously like right now market price is 110%, so you'd be overpaying the uh normal price by 10%. So terrible time to buy. Great time to sell. So with the inconsistencies of the voice, I don't like that some characters have voiceovers, some don't. And like you just saw with Gus, he says part of it, and then he doesn't finish it. Hi, I heard about the rap oh, what I, I don't, don't worry about it. I think that's what I'm just saying there too right now, like I, I rushed through to it too quickly. But I'm sure it wasn't anything relevant to say, that he had to say. So... Goodbye. Yeah, a lot of it, I'm just, like, talking just to get those relationship points up. So if I do that too quickly, that's why. Like, most of the time, it's just to get the relationship point. Sometimes I, I accidentally mash too quickly, and then that screws everything up. So, what am I doing now? Yeah, it beats the heck out of me what I'm doing right now. I can't remember. I guess I'm collecting resources. I don't know if my the point of this was to collect resources 
to build something or if it was to upgrade the house. I don't think so. I don't think it was to upgrade anything with the house. I like that when you do chop down the trees or, like, break open the rocks. I like that you don't have to, like, pick everything up. Like, it's just, like, yeah, like, it just, like, kind of materializes in your inventory. Sometimes this can be very thera therapeutic, too. I think it's definitely a great, um... Like, time-wasting game. Like, if you just want to chill out... Kind of like Stardew Valley. Like, it's so similar to Stardew Valley. Like, 3D version, and they actually... Some of them have voices. <laughs> it really did annoy me that not everybody had voices. But I remember... I had my YouTube channel a long time ago. Like, several years back, I tried doing this. But everything I was doing was on the computer. We'll get to this thing a little bit later. with the colorful llama, the cotton llama. Well, we'll get to this later. Um... I know this game has been out a while, so obviously I'm not, like, really spoiling it for anybody, but on the off chance someone is watching this for the first time and they don't know what to expect, I don't want to spoil anything. But several years ago, like, I had done this YouTube channel before, and it was just computer games, but I had a terrible computer for computer games. So, and I downloaded the demo from Steam on this. Like, right now I'm playing this on the PlayStation 4. But I had it for that, and... I tried doing the demo, and it was different. Some characters that didn't have voices then now have voices. So, it looks like they did work on it, but I guess not everybody got a voice at the end of it anyway. So, yeah. So, yeah. I'm th I thought about bringing some of those old videos I did back on, maybe a little bit later, and I'll probably... Put them up, and then maybe I'll do reaction videos to them. Because I know they're definitely cringy. Because even now, as I'm watching this and talking, I feel cringe about this. So I can only imagine what it's going to be like for the uh, stuff I did a few years back. I ended up taking everything down and starting all over. Because I just wasn't happy with it. And I want to be happy with everything I do. Even though this is kind of a bust a lot of the times with the audio and all that, I'm still... You know, still proud of it to a degree and I'm still proud of the older videos too because I did them and I completed them and all that and I think though I remember one one reason I did justify it though is that well, it ended up not being HD and I just got much better equipment from then where I got a better computer I got a better uh, camera to record myself a better webcam and just better equipment overall so the videos just look better now than they did then. I still might. I'm sure I'll put them up. At some point. And do reactions. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I did some. I'm not seeing it. That's what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm so busy talking. I have no clue what's going on, going on in the game. So I hope that's not messing with anybody who's trying to watch and wanting me to shut up. So ho hopefully not... A lot of videos will be like this. Hopefully in the future, I have to remind myself and remember to check the audio before I do anything. Um, especially, like, with live streaming and all that. I need, you know... And the, the messed up thing is I usually have my phone on the live stream so that I can kind of glance at it to make sure everything is working right on, on the viewer end of everything. But obviously I can't have the volume up because then you're gonna get- you're gonna hear, like, twice. You'll hear, like, an echo from me. So I can't have the volume up, so I should have done that. And I might do that in the beginning of every live stream from now on. I, I still have to master the live stream. So far, most of my live streams, especially if I want to, like, extend it for a long period of time, out of nowhere they just start to, uh, crash on me. Especially after I take a break. Like a long break, so I have to figure out what I'm doing wrong there that causes that. I use Streamlabs. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I don't want to, like... I don't... I'm not trying to say anything bad about it. I just... I, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't use that. Like, maybe that's not the program for me, but... In every other aspect, it works great. 
I really, I actually really like it. I think it's a lot of fun. So I don't know, maybe there's just something about it that I'm not doing right. Again, not, not taking a dig at Streamlabs, I'm just saying. I'm obviously very inexperienced, so... Maybe there's something about that. And with my computer and with everything, maybe there's just something I'm doing wrong. But yeah, especially after I take long breaks, I start to notice it starts to crash sometimes. I'm trying to remember if it crashes at, at this point, actually. In this, um, not at this point. Blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to remember if in this live stream, or this video episode, if it crashes. It might. This one or the next one? I don't remember. Well, I haven't had a long break yet in this episode, so... We'll see. Oh, what am I doing? I'm adjusting. <laughs> That's me hating myself right now because I dropped my webcam and... I don't want y'all to see my messy ass room. And there. <laughs> yep. Yeah, my room's a total freaking mess. But I guess. I guess that's more like many people. So yeah. I'm try I try to be careful about what I have in my back room, what you guys see. So I guess. Well, you didn't really see anything as it fell. It fell too fast. But you don't need to see all my clutter. Because I have to move everything out of the way. My room is so small. Even though it's a master bedroom, it's still so small. So, oh, there we go. There, I adjusted myself. <laughs> I'm a little annoyed. I, I remember that. I remember being annoyed about that. So, yeah, so I just want to make, make sure there's nothing in the background that's... Okay, wiping my nose. That's a little gross. No, I'm not really wiping my nose. I am scratching my nose. My o nose itches way too much. It, I, you know, it looked like I was wiping my nose. But I know it doesn't. it doesn't look... Nice on camera to see that. It looks it looks sloppy. I gotta try to remember not to do that. That's why I try to say itchy nose because I know it looks like I'm being germy and gross. But the reality is, it is me scratching my nose. That's how I scratch my nose. It's the best way for me to scratch it and want like really quickly to make the itches go away. See, so yeah, like I was saying, my room is so messed up. It's so small and then it's so cluttery at times. Then I, then I move everything out of the way, but everything ends up on my floor or on my bed. So there's nothing in the background to be distracting, aside from my pets. But I think that's a good distraction. So, um... I'll get there. I'll get better at this. Um, It's just such a shame, because I was really getting into it, and I was starting to really improve, I think. For, well, present episode excluding... But overall, I just felt more confident and getting better with everything, and then... Then I got this new job, which I needed to get, and I'll probably go into that whole story at a later... Uh, at some point. I don't know when. But, I had to get a new job, but in order to, you know, impress, the, uh, impress my superiors and to, you know, move up in the company, I just have to take on very crazy hours, you know. So I've worked overnights a few nights. Several nights. And I've just, you know, sometimes I'll work at night, and then the next day I work in the morning, and it's just, it's all messed up. So even on my days off, I, I sleep, or I'm just trying to get other errands run. And obviously within the first two months of working, I didn't have health insurance. So, you know, that, that you know, wasn't fun. So now I have new health insurance, so now that's kind of, you know, me prioritizing my health, of course. So, it's just been kind of crazy, and I'm just glad that today I had an opportunity to do this. At least start it, I mean. What are we, okay, so I'm, a, I'm approaching 50 minutes into this episode that I'm doing. I don't know how long this um episode is. Let me zoom out of what I'm editing real quick. I can't while I'm... I can't do that while I'm voiceovering. One second. Okay, so this whole episode is like over three hours and 20 minutes long. I guess, again, because I usually edit a lot of stuff out. But now this is awkward because I'm talking. 
you might just have me ramble for the next three hours and 20 minutes. Well, I'm sure I'll edit some of it out. But... Um... See, now I forgot where I was. What was I talking about? What brought me to this point in my rambling? Oh yeah, okay, so basically what I was trying to say, and now I know what I was trying to say. So basically... Um... <laughs> I know what I want to say, and I'm trying to word it properly. Yes, yeah, so I'm just happy that I had some time today to do it, and I don't even know if today I'm going to complete this voiceover project, because it's already approaching dinner time for me, and then... You know, I gotta go to sleep, and... I'm trying to normalize my sleep schedule, since I haven't been doing overnights lately. So hopefully I won't have to do overnights really much anymore. And then I can get back onto a normal sleep schedule. I still have to work afternoons, which sucks. Hate working afternoons. I'd much prefer to work in the morning. But there will come a time where I'll be able to go back to working in the mornings. And when I do, I'm back on a normal schedule. I'll be able to uh, have more consistency with making these videos. But I'm hoping, 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 hoping I can get all of this done. At least within a week, maybe? Maybe my next day off, which is, what, five days from now? So maybe if I can't get this completed and uploaded within a day, hopefully within seven days. We'll see. So yeah. Okay, so we're still waiting on doing the debt collectors. I are, I, I spent so much, like I said, I spent so much time rambling. I don't know what I've been doing in this game, so I'm, I'm clearly talking to you guys about build with what I'm building next. I don't, yeah. So I guess we'll find out. Eh, tomorrow's a new day. When you run out of wood, you can use your work table to turn hardwood into regular wood. I don't know why I don't say these things. I should probably start, like, those things on the bottom, the little tips. I should say them out loud if I'm... I guess because I usually try to edit it out. Day 26, month 1, year 1. Hmm. It's funny because I'm, like, dead silent here. I get, again, I guess because I'm supposed to edit it out. But... It's funny how I'm dead silent there, and then even now, as I'm doing this live, I'm dead silent again. Swords are suitable weapons for beginners. Axes and pick picks at pick axes are used for logging and quarrying. I know I didn't pronounce that right. Yeah, so even during those like loading screens, I'm still sitting there dead silent. Like, okay, say something. This is when you say something. This is the one time to start saying something. I'm still getting used to talking. It's funny though that now it's not awkward. For me to talk, I'm like having an easier time rambling. Oh. My bucket. You took it back from the Bandarats? Thank you so much. You're not hurt, are you? Here, take some eggs as my appreciation. I don't know what I'm saying about it, but okay. And it's just funny. Sometimes when I'm recording, I just can't figure out what the hell I'm supposed to talk about. But now here I am talking about everything. Uh, I guess it's having the camera on me, and I and I was live streaming too, so it's always scary to think about people watching. Like you obviously want people to watch your live streams, but then one day there's gonna be that realization, like, oh god, people are watching me. What the hell? I'm being stupid. Like, yo, I always feel like I'm being stupid, even when I'm not. I just feel it. Okay, he's running like a bat out of hell. I'm gonna, and I try to chase him because I I think Arlo's awesome. Yeah, that box of resources comes into play later, if I didn't already mention it. Right. We have an important announcement at tonight's fireside meeting in Peach Plaza. Please try to make it 1900 hours sharp. Mayor Gale. 26 month, one year one. And from Antoine. Hey Builder, I've got news for you. Now that your workshop has achieved SC ranking, you're qualified to do the inspection for us. Come by during the weekend and help us when you have time. Antoine. Day 26 month, one year one. That's actually a little fun mini game. 
when I can remember to do it. I do it. You do it on Saturdays or Sundays? I think it's Saturdays. But half the time I get so engrossed on other things I'm trying to do in the game that I forget to pay attention to what day it is. So yeah, I was still trying to build up my confidence with this. So part of me was like really happy that no one's watching my stuff right now. Like I have 13 subscribers. Not that many views for each video, so see how many of my subscribers are subscribers are actually watching my videos. And my live streams have like one or two people at a time, diff you know. And obviously again, like I said, one of them is me cuz I have it on my phone. Thank you for getting my granny's basket the other to make sure that it works. So, I don't have that, you know, much of a following right now. So it's kind of easy for me to just, I guess, it's good because I'm getting this awkward stage out. But yeah, I mean, it was in a cave. They were all in caves. All this, all these items are dirty because they were in caves. But yeah. Hmm. Wow. Now I'm like, what do I say? What do I say? What do I say? I don't know what to say. I don't want to cut any of this out either. Like I know I should edit a lot of this, like me running around stuff out. But I like, I love the way this game looks. It's funny because Bye. her granddaughter's name is Emily, but she calls her daughter Emmy. And it's funny because my cat, my girl cat, I have one girl cat and her name is Emmy. Not Emily, it is Emmy. But I just think it's so you know cool when she says Emmy. I'm like, I automatically start to think of my cat. Like, I, you know, like, obviously, like, you see video games this day and age with the graphics, and it's amazing. Realistic life, like, but at the same time, I I really appreciate the cartoony, cartoony, like colorful art style of this. I I I love this. So it's like, yeah, I have to edit this out to keep you guys interested, but at the same time, it's like visually appealing, and I want to see it. And I, if anybody else that agrees with me, I want them to be able to see it too. I wish I knew what I wanted, what I w what my plan was in this. I don't remember a thing about this. I considered watching this, then coming back and doing voiceover, but I don't have that type of time. And I figured just it's probably more interesting this way anyway, because then it's like an authentic me rambling and reactions to things that I forgot. So probably better this way. I honestly, there was like other times when I considered just leaving this alone and just moving on, but that's a bad idea too because the four month break, I don't remember what the heck happened. So it's also like a nice refresher for me to do this. I wish there was a feel in real life in my world, in my real life world that I can just run through. I love open fields. I wouldn't mind having this in real life. A real workshop, but I don't have the skills. I would lose limbs not to insult or offend anybody who really has or had gone through an accident. It's terrible. You know, if that's happened, you know, but that it would happen with me because I'm not skilled. So if I tried opening a workshop, I would get hurt because I'm not trained. What am I building? Oh, I'm trying to think. What was I building? Alright, so we're still waiting for the deck collector. So yeah, so we have to wait for over the weekend. And what's the day in this game? I don't remember. I missed it. So once that weekend pops up, then we're going to hopefully complete that storyline with the brothers. The scam artist brothers. Forgot what their names were. 
think their first names were Huss and Tuss. I forgot what their last names were. Oh, it's a, it's a Friday. Okay, so it's a Friday. So we're getting there. So I don't know if it's this episode or next episode that we do it. It has to be this episode because if I have like... And we're approaching the hour mark soon. So if I have two hours and 20 more minutes left of this... Of this episode. I had to have gotten through the weekend then. The in-game weekend. So. It has to be this episode that we see them. Okay, we're going to the ruins. I might edit this out. I might edit this out. So let me stop my voice recording right now and assess how much time I spend in these ruins and what I find. Okay. Okay, fun fact. I actually did stop recording my voiceover and then it's been a couple weeks since then. So it's already been a few weeks for me in real time. So now I'm just continuing on. I did edit some out. I figured I'd just keep these key points in for these treasures. And that was not that special. Okay. Anyway. So yeah, I figured I would just keep this part in. Like, I, um, I edited it out just when I was mining normal, you know, stone and iron and stuff. Figured I'd, yeah, just keep this stuff in. And I leveled up. Oh wow, there's a lot. By the way, don't I look cool with those uh, goggles on? <laughs> Definitely look much cooler with the jetpack. Okay, I did not realize how slow I am at doing this. <laughs> Yeah, from what I can gather, I was just looking for the closer thing. You know, like, the bigger the dot, the closer it is to you. So, I, like, it looks like that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure out the closest one to get treasure quickly. Because, obviously, every time you swing the pickaxe, you use energy or stamina. Not to mention, after a certain time in the day, you pass out. So... I want to do things as quickly as possible. Okay, in the game, it is just about 4 o'clock. So. And when, you, when you're in here long enough, it actually, time does fly by. Washing machine. I think I already have one of those. Can't remember. Let's see. There we go. See, sometimes they, I, I, I know I remarked at this in the game at some point. I don't know this episode or a previous episode, but I know I remark on that fact. You gotta be careful when you're down here, because then you start trailing off to finding these other treasures, and then you can't get your, you have to find your way back up, which isn't impossible because you can just mine upward at this. Unless you run out of stamina. Unless you're content with, uh... Oh wow, I don't know if that went through. Unless you're content with passing out in the ruins. I don't know if this part is, like, boring for anybody. So I'm keeping it in, because, like, this part is, like, looking for treasure. So I keep it in. If I were just mining the regular stuff around us, I'm gonna edit that out. Fireside. Oh, okay. I think, just like now, I think even in the game, I was surprised or forgot. I don't know. I can't tell based on my facial, uh, my reactions. I can't tell if, uh, it did, if I had remembered at that moment or not. Sounds like something I'd forget, though. 
Unless I went into the ruins knowing it would be fireside soon, and I did that to stay close. Because it's not that far. Arlo! Hey! If you ever get tired of being a builder, you'd make a good Civil Corps officer, I think. The Civil Corps are responsible for collecting. Bye! Guys, Bye. Arlo complimented me. Yeah, and I think I also made a remark on how I almost never see Phyllis or the Doctor, so... I rarely ever see them, so whenever I see them, I try to take the chance to talk to them. See, everybody's on their way to Fireside. I love how I can, like, rush through the conversation and it counts as a, friend a relationship point. This is cool. Good evening, everyone. I'm pleased to announce that we found the culprits for the stolen item. It appears to be a band of bandy rats hanging around town. Fortunately, they've been dealt with by the new builder in the Civil Corps. So I'd say this current ordeal is at an end. <laughs> we have some of the items covered in my office. Come and see if your item is among them. Since the last fireside meeting, I've obtained enough capital to commission the construction of five DD vehicles to form the Porsche transportation system. Hmm. As you can... Oh. We're in the process of visiting the builders in our town to get them signed up on this project. When this system is complete, Porsche will enter a new stage of rapid expansion and become a beacon of development in the free city. I hope that everyone looks forward to it. As you can see with my reaction, I was very happy. DD transports. I've been waiting for those. I'm sure in this episode and maybe in the previous ep episodes. Me how you defeated the mutant rat creatures. That's so brave of you. Okay. Bye. So, yeah, I was really excited and couldn't wait to get to the tr DD transports because those are the cars. It makes everything so much faster, and they're they're fun to build. I, you know, they sometimes can get frustrating getting all the supplies together. Resources together. I heard from Papa that you found the town thief. Oh yeah, by accident, really. You see. <laughs> what a surprise! Running into the bandy rat prince like that. But you beat them all. You must be getting good at ruin diving. Thanks for telling me your adventure. I really love the story. She's another. Oh wow, twenty points. For the relationship points. Um, she's another one that you rarely see. Unless you go seeking her. I think for the most part she's in her house. The mayor's house. Uh, in the day- in the daytime. But anyway, whenever I see her too, I try to talk to her. Oh, oh yeah, so... Sometimes it's a little annoying trying to collect all the resources to build s these things, but uh... I don't know, I just think building the- the transports are fun. So it looks like I'm just putting this stuff away that I don't need, I'm guessing. I mean, obviously, I would say that. Yeah, I gotta find a better placement for my face. Maybe by the next time I do an actual recording, not just a voice recording, but an actual game recording, I'll try to, like, fix everything. But I'm going in and out a little bit. Sorry. Yeah, and I know I acknowledge this, too. I'm a hoarder when it comes to... A lot of items. Well, in this game, it's good to do that with the uh, different, with the market uh, prices going up and down consistently. It doesn't make sense to sell it when the market's only at seventy percent. You want to sell it when it's way above a hundred, and then buy when it's like around seventy percent. I think seventy was the, clo the lowest I've ever seen it, and I think the highest was like somewhere in the one twenties, maybe. So it, it does pay to hold on to things. Plus, you know, people in town want to get stuff from you. And then that helps as a, uh, you know, like a mission. And some stuff is craftable, so you want to obviously hold on to anything that you can craft into something else. So I end up hoarding a lot. I don't know if at this point I've already organized. I Did I organize? I don't remember if I've organized at this point. All my chests, because you can do that. You can organize the chests and uh, 
name each chest a different thing so you know where go what goes where. I have I don't know if I did that yet. If I did, then I'm just uh Oh this, okay. Yeah, I made the trap box. But I needed everything with it. Yeah, if, if I go back on it, no, I didn't go back on it. I made the trap box, but you need the other items that were that were that quickly popped up when I tried to drop that. Forgot what they were already. But once you have those items, then that you can put the whole thing together for the trap box. Because that I want to do quickly as well. I think this, I think right now, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I, what I'm supposed to do to get that part done. I really, okay. I wish I could remember what, I ended up not watching this. So that I can have better comments, I didn't do that. Because like I said, it was a couple of weeks go gone by since I started these recordings. So, these voice recordings. And I just want to get this over with so I can start editing the other videos I've done since. Get those up. So that, you know, soon when I actually have free time, I can do an honest, true uh, recording again. And I gotta figure out why my live streams keep screwing up. Day 27, month 20, or 1. Whenever I do live streams, even like, I notice it's after I take breaks. It, like, crashes. So I gotta get better with that. I almost forgot about this, so yeah, this is another fun mission. Okay, let's see. Sorry to bother you. My chicken send Mao ran off again. I chased it all the way here. Uh, hold on. Need to catch my breath. How did it get out? I like taking the chicks out for a walk every Saturday just in case they get sick of being stuck in the coop. Then this one just ran off at the first opportunity. Sen Mao gives me the most trouble, always trying to outrun me or outhide me. Right, you take a breather, I'll help you, or take your time, I have something else to do though, so see ya. Yeah, which one do you think I pick? I think I actually say that right now too, like, which one do you think yeah, I pick? Really appreciate it. Oh, he's a surprisingly nimble chick. You'll need to sneak up from behind to catch him. Well, one of the missions I know I say, now what do you think I'm gonna pick? That's what, yeah, so, uh, just gotta go catch the chick San, San, wh what was it again? Wow, I already forgot. I'm not gonna say the name. I love that you hold you hold it up like you're holding the holy grail. Like ta da Hi. I heard about how you defeated him. <laughs> I have your chick by the way, and you're talking to me about other things. Okay. And you have to put it in the thing. I tried talking to her first by mistake. Wow, you are really good at this. You managed it in such a short time as well. The rest of the chickens scattered around the road after I ran after San Mao. Can you help me capture them as well, please? San Mao. Okay, I almost said Sam Wow. <laughs> so yeah, now we just gotta get the rest of the chicks. This happens, um, periodically throughout the game. You just keep collecting these chicks for her. Oh. I think that was my phone in real life. I, I, like, right now, not in the game. Let me see. Well, yeah, it wouldn't have been able to be in the game if it was in... I mean, video, not game. Because I'm not playing the game right now. Never mind, I'm being silly. It was my phone in real life. It couldn't have been the video because obviously my audio isn't working in the video. Couldn't have gotten through today without your help. Here are some freshly laid eggs. Please have them. It's the least I can do. I'll see you later. Come on, you rascals. Let's go home. Now I have eggs. 
Sand Mao's siblings that didn't survive. If that joke offended anybody, I am sorry. I don't know what's offensive anymore. I think this is me probably again chatting about how I need to organize my chests. I don't think it- yeah, I did because it says wooden storage on top. Uh, in white, and then it says it again in yellow, and I think in yellow is where you can change, you know, that, like, whatever you name it is where it's gonna go. And I think when I did organize everything, I think I named every single chest. So the fact that it says wooden storage, and I'm just looking at this anyway, the video, and it looks like I didn't really organize anything just yet. I know I have since, just can't remember which episode. Okay, I think what I'm doing here is looking at things that I can craft, probably to sell, because I don't think there was a mission to make anything. I think right now I'm just looking to see how many of anything I can make, how much its value is to get my my uh, my uh money to go up. Because I think for this point in the game, I'm actually low on money. So, it, 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 yeah, like, yeah, see, like, me making stone stools and I'm making... Yeah, I think that's what it- or- or it was... Yeah, it looks like that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go sell. There's Arlo's horse. Arrow. So yeah, usually... Or Sam's- or someone's horse. One of the- Oh, another loyal customer just appeared. I am called the Mystery Salesman. Always a pleasure. Well, well, I have some special and valuable wares. You're welcome to take a look. Get them while you can. Yeah, so at the end of the month, every month he shows up. And you can you can get some, uh, like, unique items, as you can see on the left there. Uh, you can, like, the top thing, you can actually get an engagement ring or... No, it's a wedding ring. It's actually a wedding ring, my bad. I'm not reading it. Wedding rings, you can actually get married in this game. And then there's stuff for, um... I'm trying to see if it doesn't show up, I'm not- Oh, yeah, okay, so you saw that- yeah, it said cat's bed, so... I guess I can spoil it. Yeah, you can actually buy that. I think it's for Pinky. Pinky will stop by your house and all that, so... Dog house, so yeah, so you, you can get a pet dog. So you can have the pets in your home with you. I was gonna see if I... Could not spoil it. I- yes, I could edit it out, but... This was a live stream, so... And this game's been out for years, everybody knows. Well, most people would know that you can get pets in this game at some point. Oh, as a builder, there's a lot okay, so this is how you can actually improve your whole workshop. So what did I just... Okay, so you can select things. This is happening fast, and I don't remember what I started with. But on the left, you can see the materials you need to upgrade whatever it was I was selecting. It was either the house, the work table, or the assembly thing. And I'm talking about it. But basically, yeah, on the, on the left-hand side, this must be the work table, because those are the things on the right that you can now craft. So once I upgrade my work table, using the resources on the, the left-hand side, all those new things. So now, now I'll be able to get, like, an iron axe, iron pickaxe. It looks like a bronze sword and stuff like that. So all these other items I will now be able to craft once I upgrade it. And it looks like... As far as goals go, I'm not doing too bad. I need old parts, I just don't have them on my person at that moment. I might have them in my chest, I don't know. And the wooden boards, same deal. So I need to make wooden boards and collect five old parts and a little bit more money. So that was the work table. The assembly station, same deal, you can upgrade it and make more stuff. I, I'm trying to think what it is I needed to make though that made me do that. I, I guess I just wanted to upgrade my, uh, my axe and my pickaxe. And my sword. And the house itself can be too. And you can upgrade the, uh, the fence and the gate. Why do I, f I I'm getting deja vu. I obviously, I know I spoke about it. I know I spoke about it in the game. 
Like, in the, the original recording, I mean. While I was originally playing the game. But I don't know if I've also mentioned it when I did a voiceover a couple weeks ago. When I started these voiceovers. So I might repeat myself a little bit here and there. Which, pretty sure every video I've made I've repeated myself a bunch. So, should be nothing now. And look at that, more wooden boards. So yeah, it looks like that's what I'm doing. That looks like that's my new mission for myself. Yeah, it looks- yeah, because I mean, all I'm doing for the game missions is waiting until the weekend. So I might as well try to do something else more productive. So it looks like that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to upgrade the work table so I can upgrade my stuff. Okay, so it looks like here I have 21 old parts and I only needed 5, so I grabbed the 5. Well, I'm trying to just take the 5 that I need. Oh, I transferred all 21 over. So, I never quite mastered how to just split it up and take what you want and then... Oh yeah, so I split it on that side. Ah, whatever. I split it on that side now and I transferred the remaining 16 back into the chest. Now it's just a matter of money. And it looks like I'm highlighting the, the, uh, the hat. The Banda Rats were, uh, using those hat- wearing those hats, I believe. So it looks like that's what I'm doing. I'm selling... Just something- something, like, minor. Just to, uh... Get the, uh, get enough goals. Sorry, I'm talking, but I'm also looking to see what my next move is gonna be. That's why I keep stopping and pausing. Okay. And... The market's at 124%, so this is actually a day to sell stuff. Not a day to buy. So yeah, I'm selling the stone stools that I made. And I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna sell the hat, too. But I guess we'll find out. I don't know why I'm hesitating. I Yeah, I can't imagine what I'm saying right there that's holding me up from selling it. I guess because I'm not getting as much as I want, maybe, but I knew that they were cheap. So I'm at 1945. I want to get to, I think, what was it, 2,000 goals that I needed to get to to upgrade the work table? I don't think you get it instantaneously anyway. I think it, like you have to wait till the next day to get it. I can't remember. Everybody's running that way. Why is everybody running that way? I don't remember. Hey, the civil corps are responsible. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm deciding that my character has a man crush on Arlo. Like, my, my character will be like myself and date one of the ladies. But, um, you can date any gender in this game. I'm just choosing to do what I would personally prefer, which is the ladies. But I've decided he my my character also has a bit of a man crush on Arlo. Oh, this is the inspection thing. So this is cool. It's kind of like matching, or like finding what's wrong with one versus the other. So on the left hand side is defective. You need to find the problems on the left hand side. And I'm not seeing it. And usually I do. And I know. I remember in, when I was doing this live. I remember I was like, why can't I find it? Oh, well, oh wait, so it's not the left-hand side that was defective, it was the right-hand side that was defective. So I found the items, and now that was a success. You do it with, you know, all sides of, you know, every item. And you are timed, as you can see, in the middle there. And I think it gets harder as you get better, I don't remember. Oh, I see one right away, and I don't, yeah. I think it's because I was on the spot, and I was doing a live stream. 
even though I don't think anybody was watching me. It's one of those things like I don't want people to turn it on and see me being stupid. So it's harder for me when I'm doing it live than I am right now. Relaxed. I can see it. There you go. And if you do this every, I think, yeah, it's every Saturday. Saturday? Yeah, it's Saturday. So every Saturday, do they, oh, there we go. We do the, um, inspections every Saturday. And then you get something for participating. There will be Saturdays where I won't be doing this because I'll forget. I'll be in the middle of doing something else. Oh yeah, there's no, um, commissions over the weekend, as you can read by that. And yeah, there's the rest of the workshop people. Hey, if you work hard and our, work our workshop is most professional, something that I didn't see, and I'm not going to go back to look at it. And that's the placements, the ranks. I don't think I'm on this one. Oh, I'm number three? Hell yeah. My yearly points, well, I, uh, all right, I just started, so my yearly points obviously aren't going to be that high. At 572. And my workshop level is a C. So I'm starting out in pretty average shape. Pretty good. And I will beat Higgin Higgins one day. I will beat him. Ooh, and I just pushed a little kid. She's my favorite. Um, because something happens later that makes her my favorite. At least of the girls. She's like the nicer one. I think the other girls are little brats. If I'm remembering correctly. The boys are cool, too. So yeah, I think this is- I'm trying to get more- Yeah, I think I still need to get more money. See, this is where I wish I had more, like, subscribers and followers and stuff, because then I can, like, ask who everybody would prefer I pick to date. Because I usually pick Emily just because I feel like that's what the game wants you to do. Remington! I was wondering where they went. This guy's a cool dude. I like him. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Alright, that's, that's the dog. And I'm embarrassed to say I forgot his name. Alright, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna fight these things. I think that's what I'm doing. I'm fighting these things to get whatever they drop that I can sell. And it also gets my skill points up. And apparently I'm not doing that. Why am I passing them? Okay, yeah, I guess I changed my mind and I just like having the sword behind me. Well, I always like to have my sword equipped when I'm not doing anything in case something attacks me. I'm ready to fight. Snake berries and caterpillar. Sorry, I, I'm trying not to breathe into the mic. But this mic is sensitive. It picks up everything. Oh yeah, that... When I want to buy more land, yeah. But I know I already talked about that in a previous episode. Because I accidentally... Um, mashed my button too much and bought this extra piece of land. Previously. I know I did. So I know I already covered that. You can buy more land. Okay, I think I'm going to sell more stuff. I think that's what I'm doing now. I see the pig, QQ. Apparently I had forgotten that I spoke to Emily already. Usually when I do that and I go back, it's because I can't remember if I spoke to them and got a relationship point for that day. I'm selling the pumpkin pie that Sophie made for me. Because I'm a terrible person. She gives so many. And you can make at any time you want anyway. So. It's not a big deal. I mean. She's a nice old lady that did something nice. And it still ended up being good. Because now I'm able to purchase. An upgrade. To my work table. Hululu. And then we gotta talk to Django. He's got a mission. 
practice sores get worn. I need a new one for my morning exercise. How about it? Of course. Yes. No question about it, and I don't know why I'm leaving. Oh, because I think I might... That might be simple. And... Um, yeah. At least I thought it was simple. <laughs> okay, I'm annoyed. I just said like six minutes worth of stuff, and now I have to backtrack and say it because it didn't record my voiceover. So, a little annoyed. But yeah. So, I was doing the uh, practice sword that I was going to build. I need to get more wood, but somehow I got myself into doing this, which is the DD transport, as you can see, the car. And I'm going to let this go, just so you guys can see it being created, because um, this is one of my favorite things to have created. And um, I was saying how it was like a revolutionary thing for this town, because this is the first car they're going to have, and it's a big deal for any town to get their first vehicles. It doesn't sound as authentic. Because I was saying it all naturally before. But it didn't record. Kind of why I'm a little mad. But yeah. So I'm just going to leave this going. Just so you guys can see the uh, the car being made. Yeah, I'm looking for something and I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. I don't remember what I'm looking for. I guess it was the copper. I do like how cool it is like as it comes together piece by piece and how you drop the things into the assembly station to, to create what you're creating. I do like how it starts to actually build itself. So yes, as this is Okay, so yeah, three rubber tires, two single seats. Now this is I believe what I was saying before, um that you didn't hear because it didn't record. This is um I believe another reason why I needed the work table to be upgraded. I think I can't make them yet with the current level that my work table is at. So I'm going to be spending a good portion of this time right now chopping trees down. To collect resources, in particular wood. Because then the wood comes in handy also for the, uh, the machines for the fuel. So I'm just going to let this run for a little bit. Missed that twice. Yeah, and when I do finally upgrade the axe, it's going to be, and, and all my tools, it'll be better. Because then I can, you know, it takes less stamina to uh, to chop the trees down or to break the rocks or whatever. Because I'll have stronger tools. So yeah, I, I pretty much clear out this whole space. When I don't miss. I end up with so much plant fiber though, but it does get to put to good use later. I was saying though how cool it was, how cool it must be like if this was a real life place and every morning you got to wake up and see all of this. Like you wake up, you look outside, you see this open field in front of you and ac across that field are two farms. 
you look over to, to one side, and there's this view of, like, I guess it's the ocean. I guess that's an actual ocean. And, um, you look to the other side, and there's the rest of the town. Behind you is this amazing kick-ass waterfall and mountains. And you kind of got a little bit of everything. So that's got to be really, really cool. I think everything is, is close enough that if you need to go somewhere, it's close enough for you. But it's also like you're a little isolated from it, so you can get some peace. Yeah, I kept missing that one, man. Okay. Oh yeah, that I think that just fell off and it just hasn't gone away yet. Sometimes it takes a while for these things to disappear. As you, yep, there you go. You saw one disappear. Yeah, this is where I re kind of the spot where I realized that I wasn't being recording anything, so I was gonna edit this part out because I'm clearly just sitting here pondering something I was saying. That not only you know I'm pondering, my character looks like he's pondering, and it looks like I'm at that moment pondering something as well, and I don't know what it was. So I was going to edit a, some of this out. That's when I realized, oh no, it wasn't recording my voice. But now I'm officially in fresh territory here. So yeah, that's what it looks like I'm doing. Um, Alright, the, putting the power stones in that to get that to keep going. So I guess my mindset really was get, collect the wood for the fuel. I don't know what I'm doing here. Probably organizing a bit. And that was the weekend. Oh no, that it's Sunday morning because it's past midnight. Day 28, month 1, year 1. So we're officially in Sunday. So. Let's see what the day brings. The heart knot represents a confession of love. When you give it to your special someone, it means you want to ask that someone out. Available at Alice's shop. Uh, How do you do, Builder? Do you have the money to pay off your debts? Yes, someone will bring it in soon, or I know who you are. I don't remember what's taking me so long here to answer that question. But I'm pretty sure um, that something happens here. That prevents me from going forward. There you go. Technical difficulties. Yep. Yeah, something glitched out really bad. And I ended up getting into a fight. And that's where the surrender is coming up. So let me... um, Let's just see where this goes. I was going to edit this out, but let's... There you go. You know, I think, okay, I know what happened. Uh, let me see. Let me get out of this and I'll explain what happened. Okay, so basically, um, I did, I think I picked I know who you are and it started a fight. But there was technical difficulties that prevented you guys from seeing that. The live stream, like, that's what happened. Something happened with the live stream. So that I brought myself to this point here. And I'm trying to, um, figure out how to fix it. So let's, um, let's go with this. Let's see how I fix it. Because I don't remember. I guess I don't surrender and I fight them. And my battery. Yeah, I <laughs> I'm remembering. I'm remembering my frustration at this one. I'm getting annoyed. You can see it in my face. I'm getting so annoyed. Because the technical difficulty happened. <laughs> Whatever the technical difficulty was. And then my battery. <laughs> <laughs> for my PlayStation. I don't think I win, guys. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> I don't remember if I started over. I don't think I did. I probably should have. <laughs> Taking on a 
brand new cover. That's pretty low. You guys are under arrest. Right away! Get back here! Now you guys see why my character has a man crush on Arlo? He's got his little umbrella hat on. <laughs> He's... I love those little umbrella hats. But anyway, yes, yeah, so... I could have handled that a lot better. That Everything that I was waiting for and leading up to for this episode... Got totally destroyed in that moment. So anticlimactic. And watching it now, it's funny. In that moment, I was so upset. You can kind of see it on my face, and I try to cover it up, but I think you can still kind of see I'm, I'm annoyed. Oh, there's Leo in the background again. And I think I'm just flushed. I'm like, you know, wondering, was there a moment anywhere in there where someone actually was watching my live stream that I would have been embarrassed? So I get, like, flustered and I'm trying to, like, collect myself and figure out what my, what I'm supposed to do now. Dear Builder, thank you for your exemplary effort in discovering product issues in yesterday's inspection. You truly have the skills of a top-tier builder. Here's a little something for your time. Porsche Commerce Guild. Day 28, month 1, year 1. I get a slingshot, I get power stones, 6 of them, and I get 2 tempering liquid. Which I believe we use for fireworks. I don't think I bother with the slingshot right now. I can't remember. Like, it's good to have because... No, I... Yeah, I do at some point use it. Yeah, see, I'm not, I don't think I'm getting rid of it. I think I'm just gonna put it someplace else in my inventory. Like, not away. Not in the chest. I think I'm gonna hold on to it. Yeah, I'm gonna put it up on top of there. Because it's good to have when... You need to hurt somebody from far away. So here we go. Now am I going to upgrade my work table today? I don't know if they're open on Sundays. It's Remington. So maybe Arrow was Remington's horse? I don't remember the names of the horses to the, uh, to the Civil Corps members. So, yeah. Looks like I'm breathing heavy into the mic again. Sorry, everybody. So, it looks like that's what I'm doing right here. I am going to be upgrading my work table so that I can improve what I can craft and improve my tools. And that's what it looks like now. And I can move things around also, but I'm not going to do that here. I don't... Or I might. Or that might just be me showing that I can move things around. But I'm going to keep it right there. And yeah, that that's what I need to upgrade the assembly thing, which I'm going to need to soon. 20 iron bars, 20 stone bricks, that's easy. 5,000 gold. Yeah, I want to make sure I said 5,000 and not 50,000. So, obviously, like, 5,000 really isn't that much if I really put my mind to it, but right now I'm down to 35 goals, and I don't want to sell anything, so that's kind of where it's a pain in the ass, so. Completing missions is where I'm going to get a lot of my money. And some missions are, like, really big, so you do get, like, big payouts. That's the, that's QQ's, uh, bed right there. Excuse me, I burped and I'm not editing it out, if you heard it. I don't want to get too heavy with the editing. For editing. First off, there's no point. My live stream is up. And even though you don't hear anything, though. But the live stream is up, and uh, it's just been so long since I had that I've uploaded a new video or did anything with this. I just want to get through it. And that is my phone in real time again. 
I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm do. I think I'm adjusting my camera because yeah, it looks like I was getting zooming in a little on my face. I guess I was doing. I was messing around with the camera or something. How am I doing? I need to get better with the live streams, though. Not just figuring out where the technical issues are, but... I just need to be more fun and exciting. Even this, what I'm doing right now, I know it's boring as hell. People have done so much better than I have. So in there, I'm making the practice sword. And now I can make the bronze sword. Well... I gotta get this stuff to, to make it, but I have that ability now. I don't know if I had that ability before. And we got all these cool, these new things that I can do now. Well, that's the furnace. I'm on the furnace. I'm not, that was stupid of me. I wasn't looking at the work table on that one. I really should have taken the time to go through everything to show you all the new stuff that we can get. But yeah, there's the rubber tires and the single seats, though. So now it's all about bronze, baby. It is so... Like, the bronze bars, the bronze anything takes up so much of the future episodes coming up. And then, you know, the iron, too, I guess. But I just go through so much bronze. Which, as you can see, you need tin and copper. So it's all about getting copper. All about get well, tin's not that bad. Tin, cause I said to. Well, I guess both copper and tin. So it's all about getting those ores so that you can make the bronze. It's it, the bronze takes up such a huge amount of percentage of what you're going to be dealing with for a while here. I got so sick of bronze, and you'll be like waiting for it to. You know, well, I'm trying not to breathe into the mic, so. So, yeah, so as you're, uh, I guess as you're smelting it, I guess is the way to put it. As you're waiting for it to be smelted, and you go about your day, you find other stuff you need bronze for. So then you have to decide, okay, well, the furnace just made me five bars. Am I going to use it for what I initially intended it for, or am I going to borrow those five bronze and use it for something else that I need? could also make. It just becomes a priority game at that point. I get so sick of bronze. But now for how I really feel. No, I'm kidding. I think I need to get an umbrella hat. I need to, uh, join the masses on this one, and, you know. What am I doing? I guess I decided to go back up to the ruins. Or not. Maybe to the different ruins. Okay, yeah. Well, I was already at those ruins. Oh, you might be able to hear my dog Winnie snoring. Sorry if you hear that. If you hear something that sounds unnatural, it's my dog snoring. And it looks like I took a quick break for a second. But anyway, how do you guys like this little graphic? This little be right back graphic that I have going on. I like it. I think it's cool. I, it's me. Yeah. I downloaded that off of, I think it was like something from Streamlabs, I guess. But anyway, I liked it. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. That's why I'm uh, rambling because no clue why I took that break. No clue what I'm doing right now.
I guess I'm collecting more resources to make more bronze bars. Because that's probably... You know, knowing how this game goes from this point on for a while, like I said previously, the bronze is going to take up such a massive part of this. Um. Oh, wow. The people in the church are stubborn. Okay, whatever she says. Don't know why she's in here. Well, I guess she's looking for data to I guess. But anyway, and my battery dies again. <laughs> or, you know, gets low. So, it just makes sense based on everything I said that I'm in here just to get stuff to make bronze bars and it looks like I took another break. It must have something to do with my dog coming in and out like she does. Yeah. I don't think it was like a lunch break or a, a pee break or anything. Because I would be, in a, like my position in the chair would be a little off. It would be different. That seemed, that seemed rather, obviously I edited it out during the break. Already, I went before I did the voices and all that. I went through all of my footage real fast just to look for where I took breaks so that I can cut those down to make these uh, this voiceover go quicker. So everything is uh, all those little breaks are gonna come up really quickly. I don't remember at what point any of them were long breaks or short breaks. That just came across to me like a short break. And I'm going for treasure again. But as, as you, you know, mine for treasure, you're also grabbing all that. Those materials which are going to end up banking up. The bronze bar, you know, I'm going to be collecting the copper and the tin. I think, though, I'll get more copper in the other ruins. Jump. Well, okay. I failed on that one. So I'm getting the tin, the lead, and the iron. They're... Yeah, they're gonna be a big deal. Like, I have a civic furnace right now. When I get an industrial furnace, that's when I'm really going to, um use a lot more of the irons and the tins and you get like magnesium and stuff. Lead. Lead is what I was thinking of. I think iron I might be okay with now actually. Using on the civic furnace. I can't remember. But you get other materials, other resources. You need the, indust the uh, industrial one for. Despite how much I know about this game, I haven't gotten that far in this game. Yeah, see, it's not wireless or anything that the controller, I'm using a plug, and the plug is a, it's just a bad one, and it keeps popping out of the controller, that's why that keeps popping up. It's not staying in place long enough to hold enough of a charge, so it'll pop out, and then that uh, notice comes right up. Yeah, I'm not getting copper at all. I think I thought that that was copper, and that's just sand and soil. So copper, it seems I need to go to the other ruin, and it takes me a while. I, yeah, as a matter of fact, I think I remember it takes me a while to realize that I, I should be at the other ruin to get copper. But I'm collecting some stuff here that's uh, valuable, and, and it's going to be needed. I think, yeah, I just want to break this thing. Oh, if there was ever an incentive to make sure I always have good audio for a live stream, it's this. Because I don't like this not remembering anything about my recording and having to try to fill in the, you know, voice over right now. And I could let it go. I, you know, I just, it feels, it's like that 
awkward silence. I don't want to go too long without saying anything. So I start to ramble. But then it's like, okay, I'm obviously talking too much also. And it's not truly authentic to in the moment because whatever I was saying at that point was the true, you know, authentic thing to say. So now I'm just watching it from a different perspective from a later time. But I don't remember what my goals were here. I don't remember what my intentions were, so I can't talk about that. I'm watching after the fact. And that gets annoying. So now it's, I gotta remember this experience. For every time I do a live stream, like, make sure your audio works, make sure that you don't have to go through this ever again. Spe well, I also didn't, you know, count on going this long, this many months without doing anything. But it's my new job, different schedule. I wasn't working when I was doing a lot of these videos before, so it was easy. I had, like, all the free time. But now that I'm working again... And that's priority. And I gotta follow the schedule. That when I have free time, I don't have that much free time. Not enough to commit to sitting down and doing videos. But I'm gonna try to. Like, it's getting a little better. So as it gets better, and I get more into routines, I'll try to make more time for this. Any chance I do get to do this, I'm taking it, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to make videos. That's why I want to get through this now. So that I can move on to editing the other few. I have a couple more videos that I just have to edit. And then... It'll all be... Then I'll be able to actually do recordings and not just editing. I don't know if I'm looking for something specific. Or if I'm just going around trying to just collect whatever. I must be looking for something specific. I'm getting that feeling that I'm looking for something specific, but I don't know what it is. I guess now I'm leaving. It's only uh, 10 o'clock in the game. For the, for the game, it's 10 o'clock. Django's Round Table Restaurant has delicious food every day. Good for restoring some health. Yeah, I probably should have been doing that all along. Going there to get food. To, like, and then you can like learn recipes from him also. I don't know if you can do that yet. But you can talk to him and get recipes every day. Since you, you are going to be able to cook for yourself. And the food obviously helps with health and stamina, which I think I covered earlier in this episode. A couple of weeks ago when I tried recording a couple of weeks ago. Did, did you get him a sword yet? Did, we, did, did you complete that at all? No, you didn't. You have to get more bronze bars. Okay. Talking to my character as if he can answer back. So I guess I should just call my character Little X. <laughs> Since, you know. My persona on here is X, and then I made him X also, so I guess I should call him Little X. I don't know how I like that, if I like that or not, but just constantly saying my character. I don't know if I, I... I don't know. I should... Yeah, maybe I should just call him Little. <laughs> I don't I don't know what to call him. I guess I could just call him X. Not like I refer to myself by the third person. So... I, I did... 
I know I needed two seats. Did I do both seats? I, I don't, I, I'm doing tires. I mean, I gotta do tires next. I got five bars. And I need 11 bars left, and it's gonna take a day, six hours, and six hours by the time I finish the sentence. So, that's such a long time. That's another thing that sucks about these bronze bars, is they take forever. To just get 11 more bars, I gotta go through over a day. Which means tomorrow, right, it's officially midnight Monday, so. Well into Tuesday morning. Or, or, you know, it'll still be dark out. You know, like 5 in the morning on Tuesday, I guess it's gonna be. That, that this, that I'll have all the bronze bars. And that's not even, like, that's just 11 more bars. That's not a lot of bars. It's gonna go by very fast. So it just takes ages to get the damn bronze bars. So that's another thing that sucks about the bronze bars. Not only do you have to go through a plethora of them. And it gets boring and annoying. It's just time consuming and waiting and waiting and waiting. I have one more rubber tire to do and then we're done with this car. And there's a reason I'm trying to rush through, by the way, because I think once you do the one car, I think other builders can get involved in my cars. And the first time I did this, I didn't, you know, like on my own personal time. I think I only got a couple, you know, like one or two cars, and when everybody else, I like, got all the cars, and I'm kind of trying to dominate this, and do most of the work, so I can take most, if not all, of the credit, because I want to be the best builder in town. So if I can rush through this, if, you know, if I could do all the cars, that would be awesome, or if I could have everybody else do one, and then I do the rest, that would be better. So yeah, now I gotta go to bed. And I was just so hellbent on getting this done, man. <laughs> there we go. My beautiful creation. And I'm- yeah, and like, see how tiny that is in, above my head? Then when you go to drop it, it's massive. If you ever meet your one true love, you can buy the wedding ring from the mysterious salesman to express your desire for marriage. See, that keeps me in a theme with this. It really wants to push me to get married. But I'm not ready yet. Even when I'm... Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Day one. Month two. Year one. So we've made it through the month, everybody. We are officially in a new month. Our first month in Portia has completed. And we did pretty good, and we got a car done in that time. We haven't submitted it yet, but we have had it done. Okay, Abandoned Ruins number two is about to expire. Oh yeah, the Autumn Festival. That's uh, going to be a thing later. So, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying before I saw that it was a month two. I totally forgot what I was talking about. Wow, that's messed up. Anyway, I'll just keep moving on, and then maybe I'll remember. But yeah, we completed the, that one car. We're gonna drop it off to, I think, Antoine or someone. And then we'll get moving with the rest of uh, the cars, getting the cars done. Oh yeah, I think I was just m making remarks on uh, how... It was, you know, the game pushes you to get married. Oh yeah, and I was gonna say something and decided... And I was going to say something, but didn't because I saw that it was month two. But I was going to say is that even in the my personal game, that you know, personal um, file of this game that I play. Oh, wait, little pest, you might notice work is a little harder this morning without your precious mailbox. It'll be even harder to work without your resource box. Quit doing stuff around town like you're some sort of gift to Portia and leave. X. Day, day one, month two, year one. I should probably report this to the civil car. The mailbox is broken and needs to be fixed as soon as possible. And I think I can just repair... You need two wood to fix this mailbox. And I don't have any wood on me. Okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, um, I got wood right there. There you go, problem solved. 
I got three wood. I have extra wood now. Whoa. That doesn't help. I'm clicking the wrong button. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I have to have the wood in my hands to do this, I think. Yeah. Oh no, I could've just done that. So now that's fixed, now I can get my mail. Workshop rankings. Hi, your workshop it was ranked number four in the workshop rankings last month. We hope your quality gets better and better. Commerce Guild, day one, month two, year one. I thought I was in third place. I must have read it wrong. Or I dropped. Um, yeah, so my... I, 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 I never got married in the, uh, in any version that I played of this game. I've dated. I've dated Emily. But that's all it was. It never got to, like, engagements and weddings and stuff. It was just simply dating her and then I decided that I was gonna record it for YouTube and all that so I started over so I don't know I might pick her again I might pick Alice you. next time that happens you should report it to the civil core right away see you I might pick Alex Alice I might pick somebody else I might you know Hello. I might pick Sam you need to watch out for these bandits we're a frontier town after all Bye. You know, I, at one point I considered uh, Ginger, but um, you end up finding out that someone else in town likes her, and I don't want to. I don't want to do that. If someone else likes someone else. I want to see. You know, that's where this game wants to push the story to go. I'll do it. So yeah, so I know it pushes for marriage a lot, but I don't. It takes me. I, I haven't gotten there yet in any version I played, so I'm not. It's gonna take me a while to get there on this version too. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I think I'm gonna go talk to Arlo. Yeah, cause I think I was gonna wait. Then why? I didn't say it to Remington. I didn't make the complaint. I guess I have to talk to Arlo. Yeah, I talked to Sam. I talked to Remington. Oh no, I think. So I rushed through the conversations and I was so busy talking about what I was talking about. I didn't pay attention to what the characters in the game were saying. So I, I might have had to talk to all three of them and I just rushed through those other conversations and I kicked a tree. What happened? You look troubled. Someone smashed my mailbox. They left this note. Threats and the destruction of property. This is a serious crime. Do you know anyone who might dislike you enough to do something like this? I'm not sure why right, I'm not saying anything. Thank you for coming forward. We'll start looking into this immediately. Yeah, I don't know why it took me so long to just say Higgin Higgins. Someone's doing yard work outside, you probably can hear. Um, I think it's a leaf blower or a lawnmower going. I, I can't tell what it is, but I'm sure you can hear someone's doing yard work outside my house. Okay, not sure what we're doing right now. But I did notice that we're past the two hour mark. So we only have a, um, about an hour and a half left to go, because I think there's three and a half hours. Whoa, whoa, excuse me. About three and a half hours to all this footage, give or take. And so it's going to be about a little less than an hour and a half left. Sorry you had to run into those two bandits, that's all I caught him saying. Here we go, more commissions. What am I do Yep, that's the DD transports, all of those. Which, you know, I want to do them all, of course. That's probably what I'm explaining right now. So yeah, I took them. They were all B rankings, you just grab one and go. So yeah, I'm trying to do the best. You can only take one at a time, unfortunately. The quality is excellent. Good work. Since you finished the DD, I'm supposed to tell you to go see Mr. Mayor. He wants you to build some road signs or something. Okay.
Okay, so I guess we're going to the mayor now. I think we do, right away. He just went right past me, damn. Ah, there you are. Thank you for your help on completing the transport. Now that we have the vehicle, we need some stop signs to show folks where they can get on and off. Not sure what I'm saying. For the initiation of the system, I want five DD stops. I'm commissioning you to build and place three of them. What do you say? I will do it. Thank you. I'll take the commission. Now that I think about it, you probably don't have the necessary handbook diagram for this item. You need to go to the research center and talk with Petra. She should be able to help you. Okay, yeah. So that's what I gotta do. I gotta go talk to Petra about getting the diagram. I don't know if it costs me any data disks. So I don't know if that's something that I'm gonna end up doing. I don't remember if I do that. I wonder where he was going. Yeah, I wanted to see if those broke. They do not. Hey, I hope more people will show up in Porsche once the transportation system is complete. Bye. She said that way I can sell more flowers. Okay. What am I doing? Oh yeah, so that that's part of the stops, the DD stops, the signs that I can make, and yeah, that's like like bus stops, but DD transport stops, and that it's gonna end up as acting as the uh, fast travel for this area. Well, for this whole game, really. Um, why are the towns a DD stop sign? This should be a bench and a few signs, right? Let's see. For that, I think we'll need three data disks. Oh, you came. <laughs> yeah. Since you're building the DD transport, you'll need something called a small engine. It's the machine that drives our cars and flies some of our planes. We don't have the know-how to craft it anymore, so we have to get them from the ruins. The problem is, they don't just lie around for people to dig up. They actually power the ancient robot, still roaming somewhere in the ruins. We can only get these parts as loot off the robots. They're called the Hazardous Ruins. Yeah, so we were... There's a Hazardous Ruin yeah. to the east of town in an area we call the Collapse Wasteland. The landscape in the wasteland is somewhat dangerous. That's why it's fenced off. You should be careful. So I think at one point during my live stream, I think I got confused and thought we already went there. We have not. But I, I think I got confused because I think the uh, enemies are the same. Or similar at least. And I guess I went on a break. But I had already went forward through all my breaks and edited those out to shorten the video before I did the voiceover, so... You have them. Okay. Great. It'll take a while to analyze all the data. I'll contact you when we have something. So I think there was a period where I, like, thought we went to the hazardous ruins, and I think I got confused at some point throughout this, uh, this live stream. I don't remember if that's the point, but at some point I know I got confused between the ruins. I think it's, uh, this episode. Could be wrong. And now I'm debating whether I want to give her five or ten data disks. I gave her none. Yeah, you can buy things here. This might be me just showing the anybody watching that uh what you can buy. I really should have sold more stuff that day. It's 134% market price, and I probably didn't even notice. Hmm. I'm robbing my enemy. Maybe not. Okay. 
He does accuse you of stealing, and then of course, I was stealing, but I'm gonna pretend I'm innocent. So yeah, so I have to build the sign the same way I had to build everything else in the assembly station, and then I drop it off over there. As you can see, there's one there by the research center. And then there's one right there, right outside of town and right down the- right up the road from my home. And there's one further down, um, that road? That road right there, that we're heading towards. And there's one further down there. There's one down by the bridge. That we had built. And we're just gonna see so many other ones throughout this town. I guess I'm just harvesting resources at this point. I don't know why I have a sudden interest in doing that, but okay. From Petra. Hello, I've heard from Presley that you've taken on a commission making a DD transport. For this vehicle, you'll need parts made of relics. I'm not sure if you know how to proceed exactly. Come see me in the research center and I'll explain more of the details to you. Petra. Day one, month two, year one. She's a little behind, I guess. Okay, yeah, I think this is me making the stone bricks, I guess, for the assembly station? And I'll, I only got four bronze bars out of all that. That's, see, that's what I'm doing. So time-consuming. And I only, I have to get an upgrade kit now. I have enough to do everything else except for the upgrade kit. Which, if yeah, I just remember, if, to buy it, it's 134% market price. So that's gonna... Ooh, Pinky. Hi, Pinky. So that's gonna be annoying... If I end up buying it right here, it's gonna annoy me. Like, current me. I probably did it out of desperation if I did it. I can't get them here anyway. Oh no, that was me looking at the market price. So I was smart enough back then to do that. Okay. So he, Django's not getting his sword now, but I, and I don't rem uh, remember if it's a timed mission or not. And I kind of remember saying that too at one point. That I wasn't sure if it was a timed mission or not. Oh, oh yeah, you can see on my face, I did not mean to do that day two, month two, year one, by the way. But you can, you can look back and see my face, I was surprised. I didn't mean to actually sleep, I wasn't thinking right. I remember that. Yeah, see? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was, I, I rushed through. So now it's the next day, and I didn't mean to end the day that quickly. I remember that now. I am having like a flashback of that. I mean, yeah. So disappointed in myself. And I have a... That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to put the clock on my wall. And then I wasn't thinking. And I was busy talking at that time. And, and thinking about what I was going to do in the game. And, you know, the pressure of the live stream. And I bombed it. And, <laughs> you know. That's just uh, typical for me, I guess. And I'm... Still looking for a place to put this clock. Cause I, I'm trying to center everything and nothing centers. Nothing's ever symmetrical. Oh, I had two. I don't know why I'm keeping the second one. Oh, I remember why. It's just because you, um... You get certain, like, points. You can use a trap box in specific locations to trap colorful llamas, which is what I'm trying to do. They can be used as mounts, which I'm trying to do. Um... Alright, I guess I took a break. I think I was just so annoyed with myself I had to take a break. Because <laughs> I, uh, I went to sleep before I went to. Okay. I am back here. And so now it's a new day. It is Tuesday. The second day of the second month in this game. 
I know, I already said that. And I'm doing something with the camera right now. But anyway. Yeah, so you keep, um, you, you, the more stuff you add into your home you get, like, your stats get better. I don't know if I've ever covered that yet. I don't know if I did in a previous episode or this one or a future one, but the more you furnish your home, so that's probably why I might have, like, multiple, multiples of the same item in my home and until I can actually have, like, a normally furnished home. Seems I get mail every day. From the research center, yeah, I knew it was a diagram for DD stop. The data disks you gave us were very informative. From the findings, we were able to produce the diagram for DD stop sign. We hope that you find this useful. The diagram is attached. Day two, month two, year one. Yeah, so I kind of uh, expected that to happen. So now here we go. We can uh, make the sign. That annoys me that it's not right after it. There we go, DD stop. Yeah, this is me right now remarking on how come- uh, I, I did everything so screwed up and out of order, so. I liked the DD, the DD transport and then the DD stop being on the next page. But anyway, here we go. We have bronze plate, bronze plate, hardwood plank, bronze pipe, and fiber cloth. See what I mean by all these bronze? I think the easiest thing on there is a fiber cloth followed by hardwood plank and then the bronze stuff is annoying. Okay, so I grabbed the fiber cloth. I edited that out. But I got the fiber cloth. I guess not enough. And here we go making the hardwood planks. Yeah, I think I only have one fiber cloth and I think I needed, what, three? And right now I'm only I'm doing this all for one. I really should have prepped and just done it for all three stops to get the whole mission complete. Yeah, this is me thinking in my head now how I'm gonna do everything. Not just thinking in my head, I was saying it out loud at the time too. Like just planning out how I'm gonna get the bronze stuff. And then I know I was going back and forth because I couldn't remember how many of everything I needed. Yeah, I just decided to do a max of 25 bronze bars, and that's over two days, almost three days, to get all of that. So that's how long it's going to take to... You know, get the max amount of bronze. And yet, mind you, I'm now thinking, mind you, I haven't done... I haven't gotten, uh, yeah, his sword done yet. Django, Django's sword. Cause I have to do the upgrade kit. But it is the next day, but it's it's not gonna go down enough. Market price won't like plummet like that. It won't go from one thirty four down to seventy. Probably not even to a hundred. Yeah, it's one sixteen. So I don't remember if I just uh took the hit and bought the thing. Higher price just, just to get the yeah, okay, I was looking to see if it was a time mission, and I missed it. I went too fast. My guess is it wasn't. Or I at least had time with it. Okay, so I paused my voice over and went back and looked. It was like four days for Django's mission. So I have it for four more days. To get him his sword. So I have four days to buy the upgrade kit. So if it keeps going down. It should be affordable. Yeah I knew the cloth would be easy. I think this is me not realizing. I need to do it for all. Three stops. Not just for the one. Yeah, 
me trying to do math in my head, I guess, and then vocalize it. Oop, I'm sorry, my headphones banged into the microphone when I went to look at my dog. I'm chopping down trees, I guess. Level 15. And I think I still haven't really picked any perks. I don't know if I've done any. I can't remember if I did any of them. There's oaks. I think there's oaks, right? Do I go talk to him? Don't be rude. Yeah, you need a better axe for that one. Ooh, got con I got a honeycomb. That's always fun. Oh, yeah, I love seeing them on their horses. Gust. I try to talk to him, too. He starts out very cold to you, but then he, he warms up to you. Oh, you really barely see this guy at it. I never go up to his farm. The farm that he works at. So, oh, Pinky. Hi, Pinky. So... I never go up to up in his general direction, so I never see him. So when I finally do, I, I make sure to take time to talk to him. I think I just get impatient and buy the thing now. I'm, I'm definitely debating it, and I think I do. I, I, I did not. I Okay, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for not going through with that. I guess I'm in a chatty mood right now. I don't want to talk to Lee whenever I have data disks on me because then he wants to take them. Okay, what am I doing? Awkward. Okay, I see a bronze bar ready, buddy. Come on. Here we go.
Sorry, I had an itch I was scratching. I really didn't mean for you guys to hear that. My, my mic picks up everything, my gosh. That was my arms. I have multiple itches. <laughs> Not my nose this time. I always have an itchy nose, but now that I'm doing the um, voiceover, I don't have an itchy nose. Must be something about the camera wants for me to always look like I'm like wiping away boogers off my nose or something. I know it's a sloppy look, but I really am just scratching my nose. Okay, I can't believe it. I actually recorded more stuff, and it um, and it. It, it didn't take, it didn't record. So I had, I had to come back to this point again and restart my voice recording, and that's annoying. Because I was just rambling on and on about nonsense, and now I don't... Now, I don't know, now it just feels awkward again. Okay, so I put the bronze pipes on. So I need... Total of four bronze plates and five hardwood planks. I'm so annoyed. I have to redo this again. It was a few minutes of me rambling about something. And I thought I was all good, and then when I... I, I, you know, stopped it, and then... Nope, it didn't take. So now I'm annoyed. So now if I try to say any of the things that I was rambling about, it's it's just... It's gonna sound forced, and not natural. And I quite frankly forgot some of it already. Because it was nonsense, it was just... Random nonsense. I don't know what I'm looking at here. What I'm trying to fi- I'm trying to figure something out. And I'm not sure what that is. Okay, yeah, so now I think it's all about the bronze plates. Which I think I have to do on that thing, and I think I screwed up, because there's too many- Oh no, I guess I'm doing more. I was gonna say maybe I have to wait for all those to be done with, but maybe not. I do know that I, um... Did I already do it? Did I already load up for... Not just this DD stop, but for the other two DD stops? Maybe that's what I'm doing. I don't know. More bars. Oh, that's me lo also looking to see about the iron thing. Maybe I'll- okay, the iron sword. I need iron bars for that. I need 15 of them. So that I can upgrade to mine to an iron sword. I think I'm still at a practice sword though, no? I don't know. Oh, I might be at an enhanced sword. I think, I think right now I'm just comparing all the tools on, like, the best tools to get. Like the iron pickaxe. Well, I'm having flashbacks in Minecraft right now. Well, it's gonna be a while before I can make iron bars, because I'm making a ton of bronze bars. Unless I want to build another furnace. I don't remember what I'm doing in here. So yeah, when yeah, I have my skill points um I haven't used. 
But even if you use them and you want to change them, you can go to Phyllis, the nurse, and she can, you know, heal you and all that, which basically wipes your skill points clean. Day three, month two, year one. And you get to, like, start your skill points all over again, your skill tree. Okay. Let me see. Oh, we got mail again. From Emily. Axe, the watermelons in our farm are ripe. Come and pick some. Day three, month two, year one. I already read that. Oh, yeah, I had to come back and redo this recording. That's why. I was getting deja vu. I'm like, wait, didn't I just read that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had done the voice recording and then had to do it again. Okay. So, yeah, this is, I was complaining about this and how this annoys me and how the trees grow back on my property. And I have to, like, hack the trees away so I can see what's going on. I think today I'm looking at the market price. Everyone's running somewhere. What are they, what are they saying? Whatever they're saying, I can't... Uh, I can't read it. Yeah, I'm checking the market price. Hi, Pinky. Ninety-nine percent, so I'll take that, of course. Now I'm gonna go down and buy the upgrade kit. And get Django his, uh... His sword for him. I have three days. I, uh, am I being a, a little cheap right here? No, I think I go for it. Like, I could have waited a couple days. Say hello to Alice. Hello. I hope more people... Bye. I, I could have waited a couple more days and get it cheaper. That would have been the smart financial thing to do. But I do, I do know that I grow impatient sometimes. But where am I going? Oh, I'm stealing. Alright, so I'm saving three dollars to getting it three goals getting it today. Did I get it? Am I thinking about it? Am I debating? I don't know why I'm going in here. I don't think I need to. really improve our lives if nothing else it's a hi did you discover something new okay yeah, i think now i want to give her the data disks now that that other mission that is done data disks. still if you want to expedite our research you can submit more data disks i think in the past whenever i did it faster we work. it didn't really do anything significant like it was worth waiting for it wasn't like I was in a rush to get a specific thing. There should be useful info on them. We'll have something for you by tomorrow. Like I think if I was in a rush to get something and I wanted to take a chance that that was the same the item I'm looking for. Why are the townspeople I might do it to e give her more to expedite, but for the most part this I can wait for. Running across the field. So yeah, now we're gonna go pick watermelon with Emily. Hi, the watermelons on my farm are ripe. Let's pick some. I'm sure they'll taste great. Sure, sounds tasty. The melons here are all ripe, but leave that big one alone. I call it Mr. Melon. Mm hmm. Huh? How come? Mr. Melon is my candidate for the Autumn Festival this year. At the rate it's growing, I reckon I have a good chance of winning. 
You have a competition for the Autumn Festival? Yeah, for the Autumn Festival. It's tradition here to do a town fair, and almost everybody shows up. There's lots of food, and dancing, and music, and fun. At the center of it is the best bounty contest, where many people bring out their best harvest of the year. Ever since I moved to my granny's ranch, I've participated in this competition every year. I've never won, though. I've always wanted to win that prize. Can you imagine me winning it? I'd be so happy! You should enter as well, just for fun. We can go together this year. It'll be a lot of fun. Anyway, let's hurry up and pick the melons. See what I mean by this game wants to push a relationship between these two? I don't think you get this with any other uh, character. Okay, we'll leave Mr. Melon alone. That's him. Hi, Mr. Melon. It's apparently a he. That should be enough. Let's chow! I think we got a cutscene here. Told you so, they taste super great. It's like a cool breeze in the summer. Yeah, this tastes really sweet. <laughs> I might not grow the biggest melons, but when it comes to sweetness, I've got this down pat. No. Don't worry, Mr. Melon is the biggest melon I've ever seen. I'm sure it'll win. I sure hope so. I hope so. Oh. Well, I'm happy to hang out more, but it's time to take care of the farm. See ya. Bye, Emily. Yeah, see, her voice got a little weird there. Like I had to, I had to do the f first sentence, and then I don't know where her voice kind of changed a little. So I think there was a vo uh, voice actor issue at some point. I do know when I first played the demo version ages ago. Um, for the computer, not for the PlayStation. Half of the characters that have voices now didn't have voices then and still not all of them have voices so there must have been something some type of issue with the actors maybe and, like some quotes are actually said some you I have to read so I don't know what was going on there I guess I can Try to look into it in my spare time. I don't know. But yeah, back to what I was saying. They definitely try to force a relationship with her. Even if it is just a close friendship. But it definitely feels like they want like a romantic one going on here. You don't get this. So far, I haven't gotten this much with any other character. Building the new DBs? I can't wait. See you. I'd love to like run by one of those scarecrows and just hack its head off. Just just because. No reason other than that. Nothing against scarecrows, just running by and just like whacking it off. I did not say that. I did not I said it, I said it, but I didn't mean it like that, and I'm keeping it in anyway, because I'm not going back to take that out. But uh yeah, you know what I meant. You know what I meant. Okay, so here you can see I'm adding fertilizer to this. I'm actually going to try to plant something that's I was buying something over in a Sophie's store I wasn't paying attention I don't know why it's taking me forever to just apply the fertilizer apply the fertilizer lettuce seed is that what I wanted to do lettuce this might be something that I do that I'm not supposed to do yeah, wrong season. I yeah, yeah. You can see my face. I'm annoyed. I did the wrong season, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna grow. 
I don't remember why I wanted the lettuce anyway. Probably, oh, for the trap door. I think I was trying to make something for the trap door. That's alright. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, see, I'm always screwing something up. Next time I try to plan anything, it just never goes according to plan. With almost everything I do, well, like my whole my whole YouTube channel is nothing but a train wreck, really. And I go on another quick break. That might have been a long break. That I'm that I'm cutting down to a short break right now. Yep, I edited it, edited it down. Did I buy the thing? I didn't buy the upgrade kit, did I? So now I'm still not able to make his sword. What, what's the matter with me? Maybe I still didn't have enough goals to buy it, I don't know. Yeah, I definitely want to get the metal storages. They hold more. They hold a lot more. I'm really confused by what I'm trying to do here. I have the planks left. The plates, the plates, the bronze plates. Four bronze plates. But I have to wait. Yeah, I do have to wait for this to go now. So it looks like two hours away. I'll be done with the hardwood planks. And then I can move on to the plates. That's what sucks when you have one machine. And you need multiple things from the same machine. So, what am I doing? Okay, I think I try to take commissions, but I'm not going to be able to take commissions. What am I doing? I'm trying to figure out why I'm just standing there. Okay, here we go. I am in need of 12... ...soil. I'm, I'm actually not able to read this. So, anyway. I don't- I didn't think I can take any of their missions. Uh, any of their... Um... Yeah. The things that they need done. I'm, I'm like drawing blanks right now, but I don't think I can take any commissions. I don't think I can take any, because I'm still in the middle of one, aren't I? Oh no, the DD transport, I think. And then the DD stops were separate. Yeah. The DD stops were separate from the commissions over here, so I was able to take another uh, car. And I think someone else took one too. I don't think there's any way around it. I think at least Higgins and uh, this guy at least take one car to make. And that, you know, it is what it is. Can't have all the glory, I guess. But I'm gonna try to take most of it. Okay, I'm clearly opening this up for the assembly station. Twenty iron bars and a little over tw uh, like two uh, blah, 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 blah. almost three thousand more goals. More like twenty nine hundred or a little less than. That. I'm not doing the math. I'm just not doing the math. What was it? Twenty eight oh five. I don't care. You saw what I needed. I'm guessing what's that for the? That's for the table, the work table, to go up another one, which is gonna be a while. It's not gonna happen yet. I'd like to upgrade the house, though. Make it bigger. Um, I guess I'm just showing here, showing the stuff that I can get next time around with the new upgrade to the work table. 
And you can also get a coop and shed and stables. Like, we can really... Really upgrade this place. We can really do a good job with it. So to construct something, I... Okay, I don't know what that was. I clicked on something to see what I needed. Maybe you're able to read it and not pay attention to what I'm rambling about. So I get, yeah, the first one was a coop, then it was a stable, then it's a shed, uh, no, I don't know what I said. Anyway, we're not there yet, anyway. We're, the assembly station, I think, is the next thing I need to upgrade. I, I, the coop, the stable, the everything else, that, that's gonna have to just wait. Yep, they're doing... And you know it's dark outside. It is eight forty-six at night tonight, and it's dark. It's July, by the way. It's the middle of July. July seventeenth, to be exact. Okay, it's not dark. It's definitely like sky is definitely a dark blue. The sun's definitely not out, but it's not. It's not dark, 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 dark out there. But still, dude, like, I gotta do yard work now. Oh, well. Okay, so I was looking out the window, and now I have no clue what the hell's going on. Okay, I'm getting my stuff. I think right now I'm just trying to collect the um, resources to do this car, even though I'm not quite there yet. I think I'm just trying to save time so that when I get the stop done, I can jump right into doing the car and be quickly done with that too so that I can move on to yet another car and, you know, other missions. It looks like that's what I'm trying to do. I got a couple more, uh, 20 more minutes, which is basically real-time seconds, so I might as well just wait for this. Then I can start the plates, which yet again I'm checking that I need four plates. Happy New Year, not really... It looks like I can make exactly four. Eight hours. Okay, so that all gets done tonight. It's 4 p.m. in game. Eight hours. So it'll be midnight, really. I'm trying to do math in my head. I know I am. I know. Not me now. Like, me then. I don't know why I'm doing that. I already know it's eight hours from now, unless I already forgot at that point in the game. A lot of back and forth sometimes while I try to figure out what my next plan of attack is going to be. Oh yeah, I think I realized I could have like put certain things in there, in the smaller one. To open up this one to be free for other things. Oh well. Like I could put the bronze one in that, s in that stone furnace. And then I could have used the civic furnace for other things that I wouldn't be able to put with the stone, stone furnace. Doesn't matter at this point. There we go with the battery again. Should have just gotten wireless controllers. Well, when I get a PS5, I still haven't gotten one. I was not one of those lucky ones that got it. 
when I get a PS5, I'll make sure to get, like, the best controllers, the wireless controllers. I might stick it out, though, and wait for, like, to see if they come out with a PS5 Pro. I got money saved up. I'll be able to get it whenever it comes out. So I might just stick it out. It depends. But it's not like I can get my hands on a PS5 anyway. And this is just a regular PlayStation 4. It's not even, like, a PlayStation Pro or anything. But I think I'm going to do my best to hold out for PS5 Pro. Assuming they come out with one. Which, um, you know, I think a lot of people are betting that that's going to happen. I'd like to get myself a nice VR headset too, but I kind of feel like with technology, like, I'm, I, I don't like, like, once I get something, not that long later, something new is going to come out. And I'm not the type to just immediately replace something. Once I get it, I like to hold on to it for a while, get my money's worth out of it. Because trading things in or trying to resell it on your own. So it's not worth the hassle to try to get most of your money back. So. I try to hold out for some for some things that I'm going to be content with. But I, you know, I don't even know if the PS5 is going to come out with a Pro version. And if they do, I don't know if it's going to be that much better than the 5, the original PS5. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. It's all speculation. So, well, I'll see. Either way, for right now, you guys got to settle with me, uh... With my PlayStation 4 and my Switch. I do have computer games, I'm just not good at them. I, I definitely like to use my controllers, and I bought a controller. But it doesn't, I guess it wasn't Steam compatible, or at least not with every Steam game, so. But I'll look, maybe I'll just, you know. I'll just buy the controller that Steam offers and see. I don't know. This way I can try to get more of a. Like a, a, you know, a variety. A better variety of games. And then I can try to be more up to date with some of these games. Because obviously the games I'm playing now are a few years old. Even if they're like new to me. And I'm sure some people watching these are going to be new to some people. Okay, four hours. We're uh, just about halfway there with these, and then I'll be done with this. The cool thing is I don't have to drop these off to anybody. I can drop them right off at one of their locations. And I don't pass out until like 3 in the morning, so I'll be done around midnight. So I think that's the, uh... I think that's what my, uh... mindset is right now, to stay up, wait for this to get done, drop one of these stops off so that I can jump right back into one of the other cars again. Because I'm trying to, like, race against these other builders to build the cars. Whereas those DD stops, I don't remember if they're timed missions or not. And if they're not, then I'd rather focus on the cars first. I think I'm a... Yeah, like, I, I think... The older version of me then, and even me now, is disappointed I couldn't do every car myself. But I don't know if it was possible to. Okay, whoever that is out there is getting closer and closer to my home. So I can really hear that, uh, that going off out there. I'm sure you can too. Yeah, so that that's just what I'm doing. I'm just playing the waiting game right now. Which really sucks for current me, trying to find ways to fill in the silent void. And again, it's not like I have a big following or anything, so it's not like I can ask a few questions here for people to answer later. Because, you know, no one's really watching my stuff right now. I'm talking to no one. And if anything, probably skip this episode because I don't like the idea of my voiceover. And, <laughs> okay, I had something going on. Wiping my mouth like I wipe my nose, and it always looks so sloppy. Especially when I'm wearing the 
like a sweatshirt or something with sleeves. It always looks, looks sloppy when I do that. Okay, it was a spiked sword. That I had. I don't know why I didn't upgrade it further. Maybe I couldn't? I don't remember. I think I'm just about done with the plates. What is it saying? Minutes? Are we down to the minutes already? Oh, okay, whatever. I think it was. Yeah, it's just about midnight in the game. Yeah, 14, 13, 12 minutes left. Happy New Year again! Okay, so here we go. Okay, come on. There we go. All done. Now we're going to drop it off. I'm trying to remember where I put it. I think I didn't want to put it here. So I wanted to go further out first. Hey, what's the commotion about some land vehicles being put into you? They're so inelegant compared to both. Bye. But I think I ended up putting it here anyway. I'm explaining why. I don't remember why. I guess it's just because it is the one close to my house anyway. And by the time I do the second one, I'll be able to immediately come back here. Maybe it was my reason. I'm assuming that's what my reason was. So. Come on, dude. I'm assuming that I wanted to do the uh, the car, not this. Unless I'm looking to see if I have enough to do it all right now. I did get most of this stuff the first time already also. So maybe I am. Maybe I'm doing this again now. That would be stupid though because I don't have the plates. I really should have done the car. Maybe I... I don't know. Too much thinking. I think it's hurting my head. I think that's why I just uh, did that. <laughs> okay, now, in real time, my dog is actually fussing to get out of my room again. Figures. So let me actually stop it now. Sorry, everybody, but for this last half hour, I'm going to have to have my AC on. It's just too hot. It's a good thing, though, that I went and took my dog outside, because she had to go, and boy, did she have to go. Yeah, I don't think she's feeling all that good. I think her tummy's bothering her. She's kind of just sitting there. Looking at the corner all bummed out. Day four, month two, year one. I'm keeping an eye on her, though. There's only a half hour left of this. And I'm hoping to wrap it up tonight. Yeah, you okay, baby girl? Yeah, she's fine. She was looking up at me. She's, uh... She's excited to get my dinner, I think. So, I don't know. All of that and I only got two bronze bars? Are you joking? Oh, there we go. Another one. That's still annoying. I don't know why the audio sounds differently. Must be how I positioned myself. 
Hello, we found something useful in the data disk you brought in yesterday. There is a lot of information for us to go through. We'll mail you the results within four days. Research Center, day four, month two, year one. I guess it could also be because I have my AC on and all that. But. Whatever. This is as long as you guys can understand what I'm saying. At this point, I just want to get through it. I was thinking, though, about this before. It's going to be kind of shitty in the next episode. I'm not going to acknowledge this at all. Because I actually did already do that live stream for the next episode. This is a, you know, we talked about it before. This is episode 6. Episode 7 has also already been done. And I didn't know that there was no audio in this. I wonder at what time so when you see episode 7, there's going to be no acknowledgement at all about this. So it probably won't be acknowledged again until episode 8. I don't think I did that one yet. So that, uh... That'll be interesting, and God knows how long that's going to take to get to. So, if that's going to be more months down the road, <laughs> I hope it's not, but in case it is, I may forget all of this. Like, I forget everything I talked about. I already forgot most of what I talked about a couple hours ago, let alone... Two weeks ago, forget, you know... My memory is shot. I don't even know what I was just doing. Oh, I just bought the, uh, the thing. I don't remember what the market price was. Because I was too busy talking about what I was just talking about. So I have no clue how much I bought, bought it for. But, um, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm actually going to stop my audio right now. And I'm going to look back and see how much I spent. Alright, shit, I just realized it was 101, so it actually went up. So I should have bought it yesterday at 99% instead of 101. So I overpaid by 1%. Well, really 2% if I just bought it yesterday. So that was a risk I took, and it was the wrong one to take. So there we go. But now he's getting it because I'm not waiting anymore, and I wanted to... I think that's what I did. I wanted to finish this mission off and this day off before I ended this episode. Which I guess makes sense, because in about 20 minutes, everything's going to be done here. Real time. So, Hello. here we go. Are you going to be the one building the new DDs? So, I, I think, I, yeah, I just wanted to rush through this. So I was just like, screw it, I'm buying the damn uh, upgrade kit. Did I call it a repair kit be before I might have? If I called it a repair kit at any point, my bad, I meant upgrade kit. So now I upgraded, I made the bronze, and now here we go to Django, wherever the heck he is. You alright, Winnie? Good girl, Winnie. Winnie is such a good girl. She definitely wants my food. She's definitely looking perkier than she was when I first mentioned she looks bummed out. She's probably just bummed out she didn't get any of my dinner. It's a meatball sub. Very balanced. There we go. Finish this. 30 relationship points with this dude. And I got a smoked fish roll. And the money. Yeah, the audio sounds like shit right now. Sorry to everybody watching this. If you guys are actually watching this, God bless you. If you actually sat through this whole thing. Uh. It is Oaks. Okay. I remember before I couldn't remember if his name was hey, Oaks or not. It is. I'm really happy that I was able to get back to this, though. Because I've, I've missed doing this since doing my new job. There's nothing wrong with my job. The hours are just a little funny right now. I don't want to go into detail. I don't know how much of my personal life I want to talk about right now. Wow, I forgot to talk to Isaac this whole time. So, um... There really isn't anything bad about the job. It's a well-paying job. It's really good. And I know I didn't talk much about... I know I talked a little bit about the fact that I was injured. Uh, it, it's a different job, though. And it was I was never hurt on my job, but I don't know how much I want to talk about yet. But the job I have now is, is a good job. And um, I'm just going through a lot of uh, annoying shifts, annoying hours, a lot of overtime, which is good, because I'm getting a good amount of money. But I'm basically just 
Especially since I'm still new and I'm trying to make a good impression. I'm just giving it my all. Anytime they need me, go in. And it has taken a lot of my free time away. And then when I do have the free time, I'm usually exhausted and just want to relax and binge watch stuff. And it is it is a lot to commit to. You know, getting this whole thing set up, recording and all that. And I knew I had this to come back to, this audio voiceover stuff that I knew was going to be a pain and awkward and I really wanted to have a good amount of time to commit to it with the energy and not have distractions so it was tough to get through but hopefully once I get through this and I can just you know get back into a little bit of a routine maybe it'll be a little more frequent but I do hope you know this is kind of like a, a fast track kind of situation with my job that I might be able to advance my career very soon so you know, even if it is still several months away, maybe I'll be able to get a better position with better hours. And then once I have that down with a good routine, I'll definitely be able to do this again. Pro again, not as frequent as I was when I was out of work. But it would at least still be routinely done. So maybe not daily. Maybe, you know, like, maybe a few times a week. Or at least once a week. If I can get it done daily, I would love to. But maybe I can, like, live stream one day, edit the next, and put it up on YouTube the third day. Like, maybe I can, like, every day do something. It just won't be a new video every day. Because if I'm going to record, I might as well live stream and see what comes of it. If anything. But I'm, I'm still nervous about it. It's, it, you know, I haven't really had anybody watching me on the, on the odd chance that someone does turn it on to watch me. I, I'm like, I freeze up and I stop talking. So if I'm in a live stream, if I'm doing recording a live stream and then all of a sudden I tense up and stop talking, it's because someone new popped in. Because what usually it is, it's me on my cell phone, usually to ch you know, so that I have something in, in the back, you know, to glance at. No, it's, no, it's not my, it's, I have, uh. I have my account on Twitch on. That I'm watching. And on my phone I'm watching. I'm trying to make sure both are still good. I watch in the corner of my eye every once in a while. Because I want to make sure the video is up. And I'll check the audio to make sure the audio is up. I guess this one episode this time I didn't. I don't know. So usually my live streams do have two viewers. But they're both me. One is me on my Twitch account on my computer, and one is me on a personal account uh, on my cell phone. And it's all just to make sure I can, you know, that everything's up and running. You know, once in a while, that's when I find out something goes wrong. Sometimes with those technical difficulties, that's what it is. It's me realizing when I see on my phone or on my computer in the back are like, oh, something's wrong, something's wrong. In all of that talking, I have no clue what I'm doing right now in this game. Okay. Um. So yeah, I think all so far all that happened was Django got his sword and I finished that and I guess I'm, uh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me, couldn't help that. Um. I guess I'm just trying to get together everything to make these, uh... Am I making the transport? Or am I making the... The stop? Well, I guess, I don't know, oh, I got rainbow jelly. Anyway, um... I don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? Where am I... Hey, QQ. Gus. I wrote the DDs in a Oh, I was just going to say hi to them. But no, I had to be doing something else. So the mayor yeah, I already talked to him. See, in all my... And that rambling that I was just doing, I, have no, I wasn't watching myself, so I don't know what my train of thought could possibly be right now. So I don't know what, what I'm doing. Research center? No, wait. Unless I'm doing another upgrade kit. 
I do think at one point. Hello. I hope the price. Bye. I don't know. Beats the hell out of me what I'm doing right now. Are you? Hello. If you ask me, I'd take a. Bye. Keep talking. Hey, I still think it's goodbye. Unless that's all I'm doing right now is just chatting with everybody. To get the relationship points up, maybe that's what I'm doing. I'm just going around chatting with everybody. Because I knew I was wrapping up the, uh... The live stream. I don't know. I can look at my face right now and tell I'm worn out. And I'm ready to, to end it very soon. Hello? I'm bored and, and exhausted. <laughs> so that must be what I'm, I'm just trying to get through. So I just go to talk to everybody. I don't want to say I'm bored, though, because I do love this game, and this is important to do, but... I guess because I have to wait for everything to smelt. So I'm just, this is like busy work, in a sense. Like, just something to keep going. I just on top of a desk. Like, hello, everybody. Very trusting school for strangers to be able to go in there. Well, not a stranger, but just for any random person that lives in town to just go in there, jump on desk, and say hi to each individual kid. And it's not going to happen here in the real time, in the real world, at least in the United States. Unfortunately. Okay, what, I'm looking down at my phone. And I don't know what I'm saying, so I don't know if I'm looking down at my phone to check the live stream. Or if I was just getting a text or whatever it was. Hey, I'm looking forward I acknowledge to that I don't have to talk every second of these videos, but I don't like awkward silence. And I did try to leave a little bit here and there, some silence. But I also don't want anybody to be bored. You know, so I fill a lot of it up with talking. Hello. And a lot of it is just nonsense I'm saying. Bye. Not just in this video, but in many of my videos. Hello. I hope my fellow but a lot of that, especially in the beginning, a lot of that was me just trying to... I guess shake the nerves off Hello. of doing this. Getting used to hearing myself speak, seeing Hello. myself on video. So I was definitely overthinking some things. A lot of texts would show up explaining myself. Well, no, like, some of that I do anyway. I, do, I like to explain myself a lot. But I like to think I'm getting more and more comfortable. Figures, now I'm getting more comfortable with my videos, and then... I get a different job, and then it takes me forever to come back on and do more videos. This part right here wouldn't be so bad. The voiceover part wouldn't be so bad if I was doing it fresh. Like, if this had happened, and then the next day I found out, or it, and then started right away rem when I remembered what I had done, this would be going so much more smoothly. So, okay, okay, looks like some stuff has been completed. The pipes... So we'll see how far I get with this. And again, none of this is going to be acknowledged in the next go-around. In the next episode, in episode 7. And I'm probably going to talk about things that I talked about in this episode, but during the live stream, not what I'm saying now. So I'll be like, oh, remember when I talked about that? Like, no. <laughs> I had a voiceover go over all of it. So, who knows how confusing this is going to get for the next few episodes. That's going to be really fun. And, yeah. Luckily, I repeat myself enough so that if I did say anything of importance then that hasn't been mentioned, eventually it will be mentioned. We're, we're definitely wrapping it up. We're coming close to the end. I'm excited. I'm, like, waking myself up. I'm, like, getting energized. Because then I can, like, move right on 
into getting this up and I could finally get a new video on YouTube. Even though it's going to be one of probably one of the worst and most boring ones cause, because of the situation. Here we go with the battery again. I guess that's going to be a new thing about me. Not just having audio issues, not just itching my nose, but now the battery of my controller always going low. It was just a it's just a bad day to do a live stream, I guess. Whatever day that was. What was it, March or April? It had to be March, because I started my new job at the end of March. So this must have happened sometime in March. And it's July already. Am I upgrading my stuff? What am I doing? I think the whole theme of my YouTube channel is just me just... ...having train wreck Let's Plays. That's all this is. Me just screwing up all my Let's Plays. Maybe that just should be my theme. Oh well. I don't think- oh, that is beautiful. That it was a beautiful little sky. I saw it there with the purplish, pinkish fuchsia, maybe? I don't know. But that was- that just really looked nice. But yeah, I try not to take myself too seriously in these games, even though I do tend to over-explain myself. I just like everybody understanding what's going on. So yeah, you can take, I think this is what I'm explaining, you can take pictures throughout this game and then you can put it in that photo album, that I could get a photo album. Take pictures and you, you can actually like have a literal photo album in this game. I don't know what else I'm, it's herbal mixture I shouldn't, I don't think I'm explaining that, everybody knows what that is, anyway. Am I, I guess I'm just looking for busy work things to craft and sell. But that makes no sense to do it now at 101% market price. It should have been with the 134. Unless I'm just looking around. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? What's going on? Oh, I think I guess I took another break. Okay, I really love that graphics. These graphics right here with the be right back, the stream. I love this. Someone else made it. I gotta give credit to them, but I love it. It was so great. It totally suits me, those graphics. Oh, I see my little uh, arrow up on the top of the screen. Just chilling there. I guess right now that's what I'm trying to do. I'm, while I'm waiting for everything to get ready and smell and all that for the car or stop or whatever, it, which one of those I'm making, I guess it's the car. Um, I guess I'm also trying to figure out how I can upgrade my stuff. Why am I making glass? The glass is for the car. Okay, yeah, so I def I'm definitely doing stuff for the car. And there's Leo cleaning himself in the background. Has he been doing that this whole time and I haven't noticed until now? And then he stopped just as I acknowledged it. That's funny. Yeah, we're coming close to the end, everybody. We're coming close to the end. I guess this is ending on a boring note. I probably should have ended it a day before. Whatever day it was that I did that I put the stops up. I should have ended it then. But I wanted to stretch the live stream out just a little bit more. Maybe that's what I'm. Maybe that's what I'm saying right now. Am I talking about wrapping it up? I don't. Oh, oh we have like less than. All right, we have 50 minutes, aka 50 seconds. <laughs> Not aka, but. Oh, uh, never mind. So anyway, now it's gonna be 40 seconds, literally, 
for the cloth to be done, and then I'll, I'll be able to put that there. And then, yeah, so this is the boring part. I'm definitely ending this episode on such a boring note. That's, that's a little disappointing, but it is what it is. I guess we can all be grateful, though, that it's finally over. And those of you that have stuck this out, you are a blessing. You are wonderful. And I appreciate you for sticking this whole thing out. And, uh... Hopefully this never has to happen like this again, or at least if I do, I'm just better prepared. But I've learned a valuable lesson about making sure audio is always working. Or at the very least, edit it right away so you know what you're talking about. So, yep, here we go. Um, I know I like to quickly like say things, you know, to wrap this up, so I'm trying to say it all now. But, um, again, thank you all for sticking with me throughout this. <coughs> Excuse me? Sorry. Oh my gosh. But, um, day five, month two, year one. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it, at least some of it, a percentage of it, I'm hoping. And there I am, I'm bigger. So this is me doing my normal wrap-up of I hope you liked it. By the way, don't I just have the worst natural frown ever? It is horrible. <laughs> I can't help that at all. I've always gotten comments on that. And yeah, I'm definitely saying something here. I have no clue. And oh, there's Leo in the background doing something funny. But yeah, um, anyway, have a great day. See you next time. Is what I usually say. And now I'm going to let it run right here. See how long I keep that <laughs> that phase going uh, until I end it. Now I ended it up. All right. Honestly, guys, have a great day. See you next time.